I want to get into this. So look, yesterday, and this is the problem I have when I come on the show, right? And shout out to my boy Fluent. Love you, Fluent. Respect everything you do, uh, except for the stuff y'all said yesterday. Uh, but um, this, this stuff, this is what I'm talking to you guys about, man. Yesterday when we came on here, whenever I say something, it's always extra uh, microscope, extra criticism, whatever, 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 right? And then Mars comes in, and he agrees with me, and then everything I say is okay now because Mars agrees with me. It makes no sense to me. And I want to start off by saying, the stuff Chilltown said yesterday was disgusting. And if you go back and look at the video, a lot of people hit me up and said nobody held him accountable for what he said yesterday. He came in here and tried to say that the Miami Heat were not a super team. That is one of the most disgusting things that have ever been said on PC, on any show on Player's Choice. That's one of the most uh, disrespectful things. Shout out to my boy, Flo, I know you're just listening in now. I already shouted you out. Love you. But I, I, had to, I had to start a show saying something about what y'all said yesterday in our conversation yesterday because I love how Mars took it and, I mean, absolutely obliterated the legend of losing yesterday because this is the type of stuff that they do, right? So yesterday, one of you guys sent a, a, super, a super chat donation and you said something about, oh, well, players in poorly ran organizations. And this is something I had against my boy Fluent. I don't know how far Fluent was going on this. But Chilltown, he was going all the way, and Lowe was basically capping. I want you guys to think about something. Outside of the guys who made super teams and guys who were on super teams, most of the guys who won championships in the NBA, before they won those chips, those guys weren't super teams. They, they, I mean, excuse me, those guys weren't perennial all-stars. Those guys were dudes who were, for example, look at Jokic who just won a chip this year. What guy on his team was a perennial all-star before they won a chip? Jamal Murray was a dude that was right with injuries. He was getting hurt. He was upcoming, but he was getting hurt a lot. And all the rest of them dudes was really role players. If we be honest, except for Michael Porter Jr., he's like a little bit above a role player, but he's basically a third wheel, a role player. See what I'm saying? He's not an all-star. He's not a superstar, none, none of, that, of that level. But Jokic went and won the chip. Nobody said Denver was being poorly ran. When, they was, when Murray was getting hurt, they was losing in the first rounds and stuff like that. They made subtle changes to the roster. When I looked at LeBron James, and this goes to what I was saying at Chilltown yesterday, when I look from year one from when he came in the league and they won 35 games, they changed that entire roster every single season in order to fit around LeBron. So when he first came in the league, they only had 35 wins. And on that roster, these are the guys who they had. Ricky Davis, Jeff McGinnis, they had Carlos Boozer, Big Z, Eric Williams, Darius Miles, Mateen Cleaves, Ira Newell, Tony Batiste, and Lee Nailon, and Chris Mim. Those are the guys they had on that team that first year. So what they did was they moved forward the next year and won 42 games. So they won 42 games the next season. Should have made – And this is the Miami Heat. No, this is no, – no. this, 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 this is Cavaliers in 03 and uh, 04. Is, no, 04, 05. This is second 04, year. Oh, yeah, 03, 04, so 04. This is what, so this is what I, uh, my point. Here's my point to y'all. My point is they they, you, they were saying poorly ran organizations, right? I don't believe that we as responsible basketball commentators should say this about teams that haven't been poorly ran. To, they, just because the Cleveland Cavaliers underachieved as players doesn't mean the organization was was uh uh the organization was um they weren't doing enough. They built LeBron James a whole new practice facility for himself closer to his house just so he can get there on time. They bent over backwards and made as many moves as a small market team could do to try to build that team up. So they went to 42 wins the next season. And that, in that roster, they they jumped they dumped off guys like Ricky Davis and all these other guys who were bad eggs on that roster, right? So as, as going forward, going forward on that, on that roster, they had him, Big Z, who was an all-star to give before LeBron got drafted. And then he made an all-star team after LeBron James got drafted. Then you had Jeff McGinnis, and then you had Drew Gooden, who was averaging 14.4 points and 9.2 rebounds, who people tried to downplay last year, right? So they had these guys on the team, four guys in double figures on that team. So then the next year, his third year in the league, his third year in the league, they won 50 games. What did they do? So then that, that after that second year, they fired Paul Silas, right, which they felt like they needed to make that move to help LeBron James get, get further. So they fired Paul Silas. They went from winning 42 games in year two of LeBron James to 50 games in year three. 
So you go from winning 40 to 50 games. That's not a poorly ran organization. And I come with, with receipts and I come with proof today. So what did they do? They went and got Ronald Flip Murray. Shout out to Flip Murray out of Shaw University. They went and got him. They went and got Larry Hughes, who was putting up solid numbers over with the Wizards, putting up 20 a game. They went and got, and Big Z came back. He was an all-star. They drew good and was damn near a double-double that year, too. So you got five guys in double figures on that team. So they were moving the team around to make the team better for LeBron. So, again, they fired Coach Paul Silas, who was renowned as a very good coach, and people respect it. They fired Paul Silas when he was in the playoffs in LeBron's second year. And then when he got fired, they fell out the playoffs. But it paid off because they hired Mike Brown. He comes in and immediately wins 50 games. Now, Mike Brown wins 50 games. That's LeBron James' first year going to the playoffs. They didn't lose in the first round. They went to the second round and lost in seven games to the Detroit Pistons. That doesn't tell me that they're a team that's a, 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 a not doing what they're supposed to do for the player. So then let's move forward, Chill Town, because I came with the whole slab for you today. Next four. The next year they won 50 games again. So this is LeBron James' fourth year. What did they do? They went from being a second-round team to an NBA Finals team. So they went to the, so the roster that they changed from when LeBron came in the league, which is took Ricky Davis and all those other bad eggs off, and started putting these other guys in here. They added guys like Andy Verge, Anderson Verge out, who was a very good role player, dirty work guy, did everything you needed to do, wasn't going to be in LeBron James's way. They added a veteran like Eric Snow, who could steady the game down, run the point guard. They added a good guard like Sasha Pavlich's, who could make shots. They added Damon Jones, who was a lights-out three-point shooter. They added guys like Daniel Gibson, who was a great three-point shooter. They also, you had Drew Gooden, almost averaging so, a double So, double. Pickett, you saying they put a good roster around him. Hold on, Ron. Hold on, Ron. Hold on. I'll present my evidence because I don't like when people <laughs> lie like that on organizations. They have lied, and I'm coming to present the truth, and then I'm going to let them answer. So, that next year, that fourth year, think about this. So, they fired the coach after two years. The next two years, they won 50 games each of those two years. The first year, the third year, he went to the second round and went seven games with the Pistons. To me, that's not a badly ran organization. The fourth year, they went to the NBA Finals and they lost to the San Antonio Spurs. Why did they lose to the Spurs? Because LeBron James in that series had the worst series that he's ever had in his career. Hold on. This is not a lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These are not lies, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to present facts because me and Chilltown had a conversation, and I had a lot of people hit me up yesterday, and they told me, since Chilltown was saying this stuff, I should just be a man and come in here and present the facts like a man because Chilltown is an honorable person. So I think that Chilltown would agree with facts. because that's Can't argue game. facts. You can't you can't argue with facts. You can't that argue facts. Game, that first game in game one was a nine-point game. LeBron James shot 25% from the field. He was four of 16 and two of six from the three-point line. He had 14 points in that game. And then you talk about what did his teammates do? Well, his teammate, Sasha Pavel, just shot 50% from the field. He had 13 points. Drew Good shot 66% from the field. He had 14 points. Uh, Anderson Verajal shot 50% from the field. He had 10 points. Daniel Gibson shot 77% from the field and 66 from the three, and he had 16 points in that game. So LeBron James had 14 points, and they lost a nine-point game at home. But when you guys said they couldn't compete, I called a cap, and this is why I call cap. So let's go to the next game then, right? So the next game was more was a what? A nine-point game. So what did LeBron James do in the next game? He shot 42% from the field and 0% from the three-point line. Not going to get it done, dog. Let's go to the next game, and that's only a nine-point game. Let's go to the next game. The next game was a three-point game, 75-72. The Cavs were a great defensive team. Remember this. They were, one of, they were the best, one of the best defensive teams in the league. What did LeBron James do that game? LeBron James, that game, sir, he had 39% from the field, 0% from the three-point line. He was 9 of 23 from the field. He, so that was what he did that game, right? Meanwhile, his teammates that game, Sasha Pavlovich, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Damon Jones shot 50%. Verajal shot 50%. Z Big Z shot 46%. Uh, Drew Gooden shot 45%. They all shot played better than LeBron, but it was only a three-point game. So let's go to the last game of that series. At home in Cleveland in the queue. You lose by one point, sir. One point. And what did LeBron James do in that game? LeBron James in that game, sir, went 10 of 30 from the field, 33%. Of seven from the three, 28%. The man had 24 points on 30 shots. That's not LeBron James. So my whole point, and that was a one-point game in the queue. My whole point was, if he would have played solid, they could have won that series. But look at this. This is where it gets y'all right here, when y'all said poor, ran organization. And this is my problem with you, chill, affluent, and low yesterday, when y'all talk about poor, ran organizations. So then we go to the year after that, right? So they went to the finals. They lost like that, right? 
So what did the Cavs try to do? They tried to identify the problem, right? So they moved some guys. So now that next year, they lost, They won 45 games. So they lost, They went down five games, and they lost in seven games to the Boston Celtics in a series where everybody called LeBron James out for his performance in that series that they lost in seven games, right? These are facts. So then the next year after that, after 27, 2007, 2008, they come back. This is what they do, y'all. They changed the whole team when they lost to the Celtics in seven games. It ain't like the Celtics swept these dudes and it was no competition. They lost in seven games, seven hard games against the, that Celtics team, that mighty, mighty Celtics team that Chill Town, these dudes acting like couldn't be beat. They lost in seven games. What do they do? They changed the roster, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a poorly ran organization. They changed the roster and they went and got Mo Williams on the team who was an all-star. They went and got Delonte West, who was a baller. He averaged double figures and was a starting point guard. They, Anderson Verjot was still on that team, was averaging close to a double double. Big Z was on that team, averaging close to a double-double. And you still had Daniel Gibson. You added Wally Zerbiak off the bench. You added Big Ben Wallace off the bench. You added you, – you still had J.J. Hickson and those guys off the bench. And what did that team do? They won 66 games. So they identified the problem from before. When they won 66 games, what happened, ladies and gentlemen? They choked in the conference finals against the Orlando Magic. A, 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 week, a week in Orlando Magic that Kobe Bryant beat in five games with Paul Gasol. They choked against that team. So they come back the very next year and win 60 games. That doesn't look like a poorly ran organization to me. So my whole point to Chill Town is this. When he talked about they didn't have help and all this other stuff, I named the names to low and I praise Mars. Mars, I gained so much respect for you yesterday, bro. I love you, brother. Real talk. I don't care whatever beef me and you get into because I love how you cook that sorry ass low who came up here lying his, his ass off. He lied his ass off and he got cooked. You guys always talk about Oh, not enough help, not enough this, not enough that. Jokic just won the chip and won't none of these dudes on his team perennial all-stars. Won't y'all, won't, we won't even talk about these dudes as perennial all-stars on his team. Not Michael Porter, not Bruce Brown, not uh, Ron, not Brown, not uh, Christian Brown, not none of those dudes. Not even uh, 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 the dude I said was better than Penny. Y'all didn't even want to give him that. But Jokic wouldn't have won the chip. Same thing we said with Michael Jordan. When Michael Jamal was better than everybody on that Cavs team. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Bob. When Michael Jordan won his first chip. Scottie Pippen was not a perennial all-star. These dudes were built up as the team went along. My whole point to Chilltown was if LeBron would have stayed in Cleveland, he could have built up the guys around him because the word is he makes everybody better. So if that's the case, make everybody better like all these other guys did. Make them better like Mike did. Make them better, make, make them better like all the other guys who won championships, like Tim Duncan and them did when he came in the league and won a chip. And, and um, Tony Parker and them, they weren't no perennial all-stars when they won a chip. They just came in and won a chip. Ginobili wasn't no perennial all-star when he came in. They came in and won a chip. So, and, and the list goes on and on. The only teams you can say that didn't have dudes that was already perennial all-stars was teams that wasn't super teams, sir. So once again, and that's a lot of teams I had on my list, Jill Town. So your logic is defeated. When you guys come in here and lie and say it was a poorly ran organization, no, bro. Just hold it. Just say, man, LeBron James ain't do what he was supposed to do as the player you guys hold him to be. Stop blaming this on the organization. Y'all are sad. This is not the Orlando Magic organization after the White left. This is not the Atlanta Hawks or what? Almost 10 something years and two years out of the 10 years, they're good. No, this is not the New York Knicks who have been bad for damn near a decade, bro. This is not them. This is a completely different organization and different situation, bro. So cut it out. I didn't hear chill town. I mean, Fluent coming in here saying that the Toronto Raptors are a poorly ran organization. And, and what did they do? They were. Been going like this. They've been going like this. You know what I mean? I don't hear Fluent saying that. They've been going like this. Nose guy. I don't hear him saying that. So keep that shit real at all times. I'm gonna call your ass out on it every single day. Three the hard way, nigga. Um, Didn't the Cavs only get better in terms of developing like an actual done. team after David Griffin left or after they got a new owner? No. When no. they get a new owner, Dan Gilbert been the owner the whole time. Do your research, nigga. Did they not get a new owner? They ain't got a new, no, new no. owner. Dan Gilbert's been the same owner the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, Gilbert's been the same owner. That's, that's what it but, here, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You say. I just asked a question. I'm not. How is it capable? Yeah, I asked the question. The team, the team being crazy. successful, the team being successful, and their best player getting better every year goes into that team success. So the roster didn't change. So to to say to say that an organization isn't a very well run organization doesn't always necessarily just you're just saying what their results are on the court. So Cleveland and Dan Gilbert, for example, there he was out in public putting down his team. Changing up the roster is not a good thing. Your guy, Michael Jordan, your guy, Michael Jordan, right? Those first three years on the Chicago Bulls, was that a well-run organization those first three years? No, it wasn't. They changed the ro- 
they changed up the full roster those three years, three three head coaches in the first three years when Jordan gets there. So they're kind of not they're trying to figure it out. Now they get lucky. They get lucky and find the right coach, find the right uh, secondary pieces to him, and they have great success. And that's to their credit. Cleveland's issue is they're a small market team, like you mentioned. Through those years from the time that they won, or sorry, from the time they went to the NBA final in 07, they had the third highest payroll, the fourth highest payroll, and the fifth highest payroll. You know Dan Gilbert is trying to cut that down. So he, that's why some of those roster moves were made. It wasn't necessarily for the betterment of the team. You mean they it went was, and got better players? Ticket, ticket, you talk for 10 minutes. Quiet. They went and got better players. Be nigga, quiet, stop ticket. They went and got better quiet, players. ticket. You talk no, for 10 got, minutes. Be quiet. Antoine Jameson went nobody I'm interrupted not, you when you talk. Antoine Jameson went quiet, ticket. ticket. And nobody answering your questions. You Antoine, talk yeah, for 10 minutes. Be quiet. We let you cook for 20 minutes. So be quiet. Get off the head. Go ahead, Fluent. Get it Get it off, Fluent. I didn't research this topic as much as Ticket did coming in today. I didn't either. So I'm, 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 going, I'm, I'm going off. I'm just going off of what we talked about. So they have, like I said, the third, the fourth, the fifth highest, the third, fifth, and then fourth highest uh, uh, cap um, in those years after that finals appearance. They're making moves, and they're not necessarily – when you say they're bringing in better players, well, they're bringing, they're not bringing in – they're bringing in better names, Andrew but they're not, they're, not they're, they're, not they're not necessarily better players. Like you yeah, can admit, true. Ben Wallace wasn't the Detroit Pistons. Ben no, Wallace when he Andrew came in, was Shaq wasn't was Shaq true. when he came in 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 oh nine in oh nine twenty ten. He's not the same player. So well, on, that's well, the, that's the thing that we sometimes we sometimes get we fall in love with the names of the players versus Yo, liars, the players' ability and it. their fit for the team. Bro, I think. What what lack? Listen, this is why I don't think they would have won chips if he stays. Is because they they kept moving around rosters, bringing in vets, and and from my understanding, Dan Gilbert kept wanting to get younger and reduce the payroll. And LeBron wanted obviously, hey, who I'm looking at teams like the Celtics. I'm looking at teams that have multiple All Stars, and I don't have that. I I want some. That's not saying it's a bad right or wrong. But that's where the, the issue. So when we say a poorly run organization, it's an organization that didn't really have stability in their roster. They didn't have really good development. They didn't do those things. They had one great player, and then they Who kept trying to. Hold up, ticket. Hold on, ticket. Hold on. Hey, hey, hold up, hey, hold up. Y'all let these dudes come on here and lie. I don't. Ain't nobody lying, ticket. Nobody is lying. If the facts are misconstrued, there's a difference between intentionally lying. There's a difference between intentionally lying to deceive people. So what are you talking about somebody deceiving people? So Antoine Jameson, for example, did you leave out the fact? How come you didn't bring up the fact they got traded in the middle of the season? How come you didn't bring that up? You you completely left that out. You're talking like he was on the crew for five years. How come you didn't bring that up? So they I can say that you're lying game. then, but I didn't they say that, Ticket. Game, the reason bro. why I didn't say that is because you probably forgot that. That doesn't mean you're lying. You just forgot that. that. You forgot that he got on the crew in the middle of the season with an old Shaq. You forgot that part. It's the not like he's been on the we crew. Didn't talk about Shaq. I didn't mention Shaq. Let's talk about Shaq. I didn't mention Shaq. Because you brought up Antoine Jameson, who was on I the crew mention. with Shaq. So he I'm got on that crew in the producing. middle of the season. But I'm sorry if I interrupted you, Tone, because I have a I have a difficult time with the lying logic. Because when you leave out, because 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 when you're lying, you are intentionally trying to deceive people. That's not what's going on up here. Who's lying? That's not. So so once again, when you talk about when you talk about what the Cleveland Cavaliers did for LeBron James, as opposed to what the Detroit Pistons did with Ben Wallace being on that crew for as long as he's been on that crew, right? All of those other, the Miami Heat building that unit around Dwayne Wade for as long as they built that unit around Dwayne Wade in the Eastern Conference. So the Boston Celtics getting that unit together the way that they got that unit together, the way that they ended up becoming a championship caliber team. The idea of LeBron James being what he became and getting better and getting better. There's a reason why those guys were what they were with James. There's a reason why when the general manager called up Larry Bird and asked if he was interested in any of those other guys, he told them no. Why? Because they look the way they do with James. That's Bird's words. You? That's how not my opinion. You? That is a how fact. You that, 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 that. You're the much, one saying it. You're you talking about you? how much is Clutch paying me. How much, how much, paying how much is the you? enemy paying you? Because all you do is come up here and slander. You got some damn nerve talking about me, talking about me 
I'm somebody paying me. You. All you do is slander him. That's all you do. Chill, you ain't got no other topic to talk about. Chill the ticket. Chill the ticket. All you do is go in here. Hold on, hold on, guys. Yo, chill, chill and ticket. I want to hear from everybody in the room. Is are the Cavs a poorly ran organization? No, ask in, everybody in the room. Put a poll on I'm the about, I'm 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 about, are they poorly ran right oh, now? No, hey, they're good right now. They're good right now. They're, good right. they're on the same level LeBron James and the Cavs won. What's the difference, sucker? What do you? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? The, what, what do you mean? The, what, what do you mean that they're on the same level? They I don't went understand. They won NBA Finals because they made okay. a trade to go get Kawhi. After that yeah. deal went down with Kawhi, what have the Toronto Raptors did? Not a damn thing. But he ain't calling them a poorly ran organization. Y'all dudes is easy to beat. Hey, fluent. All I'm gonna say is this, bro. When you take that clutch money under the table, and oh, give me a break, man! <laughs> man, we gonna talk basketball. Let's talk basketball. Let, 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 let's kill a goofy ass insult. Let's talk basketball. This shit is corny, ticket. That's all it is. This, 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 all you are, you, you, your theatrics. That's all you, you are. Right. Let me, let me, brings up Mo Williams right now. being an all star. Right let me tell you right now, I'm Chill's agent, and if he was getting paid by clutch, I'd be getting my cut, and I'm not. Therefore, I know he's not. I <laughs> know oh, what time it is, man. This man. I don't know man. nothing. Man, I don't know anything. Not when it comes to you, because all you do is double talk. Okay, so Chill, let me ask you one question. Chill, no, I'm relax. listening. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No more questions. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Ron, I'm sorry. Everybody in the room. No more questions that you ask. Hey, because ticket, I, I, I need to see who in the room thinks that the Cavs were a poorly ran organization. Or well-ran organization, Mars. I'm starting with you. Do you think that they put adequate talent around LeBron and they did a good job in building a well a championship roster? I I think, um, and I've always said this. I think the blueprint in the East throughout the 2000s was one superstar player, and then you get the defensive pieces around them, and that's how you compete. In the East. That's how that's how you make the finals. I mean, you got the New Jersey All Nets, you got the Philadelphia 76ers. To a lesser extent, you got Miami. They went and got Shaq. That, that was a bit different. Then Boston kind of changed up the blueprint. They were like the outlier in the East. But even with Dwight Howard, you just get one superstar and you get the role players that fit. I think Cleveland were following that blueprint. They had as much success as they could have had at that point. They made the finals. They were making deep playoff runs. I think they just followed the blueprint of the East at the time. I don't think they were just much worse than everyone else in the East. Thank you, I don't Mark. think they were much better than everyone in the East. I think they followed the blueprint that was shown in the years prior. And they just went with that and they had as much success as they could following that blueprint. Uh, I don't want to just say they were a terribly run organization. I don't, I don't Thank think. You, Marge. Oh, okay. And not necessarily asking, were they a good team or were they not a good team? Just asking, did they do a good job of putting, surrounding LeBron with talent or putting they together a roster that was games. championship contender? They won 61 games. They went to the NBA finals, nigga. I, I, think, I think, I think, I think they did about as good of a job as you can really expect realistically. Uh, I mean, there's a few trades that maybe they should have done that they didn't do. That's fine. I mean, every team doesn't hit 100%. But, I mean, for the most part, I think they did a pretty good job. They gave LeBron shooting when he said he needed shooting. They gave him defense when he wasn't a great defender. They gave him – they gave him a. Uh, they, they got rid of Paul Silas when Paul Silas tried to put him in the post and LeBron James didn't want to be in the post. So, they got rid of Paul Silas and gave him something that was more beneficial for him. I think they did, they did what they could to try and make LeBron happy with the resources they had. Thank you, Mars. I love Mars okay. from now on. Thank you. All right, Mars and Ticket is the the duo Ooh, that we ever thought we'd see. So, so let me just can, pause, <laughs> can, I, can you pause? Can you pause for a second, Ron? Because I, I got a Go question ahead. for Mars. Go ahead, you got it. Because the question isn't just about the roster and putting pieces into place. When we talk about an organization, we talk about certain things like their facilities, their coaching staff, their development. Do you think they had a good job of developing those players that they brought in? Did they put in the right system to make those guys succeed, not just on the back of LeBron as a collective? Was Mike Brown the best possible coach they could have had for that style of play for him and those pieces? All of those things weigh into it. So yes, what you said was true, but do you feel, and I don't know how much you've gone back and looked, do you feel they had all of those other things in place? Like we talk about Chicago right now, the Bulls, for example. They might have good players, but we all laugh at them for not having a shooting coach, as an example. So do you think Cleveland, when I say a poorly run organization, I include all of those things. Did Cleveland do everything to develop those players and put them in the right situation to be more successful, to over overachieve? 
I'd be lying if I said I knew about all the ins and outs of the Cleveland organization. I do think Mike Brown was a good coach because, like, I think the East was a I, defensive I agree conference. Good coach, yeah. They they brought in a defensive coach, defensive minded coach with defensive minded players, and that's where they got their success from from their defense. I think that was the right move. Now, do I know about what was going on, what their training facility was like? No, I don't know. So I'm not going to comment on that and say whether or not it was good or bad because I'd be lying and I don't want to. It was first class, anything. Mars. I was in Cleveland in 2009. It was first class, 100. percent and I'll take Chill's word for it. And then he, if he wants to elaborate more on that, he can. But from what I know, I think Cleveland, I'm not going to say they were a great run organization. I'm not going to say they were terrible. I think they did their job. And I don't think they're the reason why they had all the failures that they, well, not failures. They didn't achieve what maybe they wanted to achieve. I think there's a lot more to it than just blaming the organization. They took the Celtics in seven games. They went seven games with the mighty Boston Celtics. But before they got old. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying, bro. When you go seven games, bro, we got to run that back. I'm not finna go to no other team and try to get a super team when we went seven. <clears throat> Yo, Dama. LeBron, LeBron wasn't great in that series either. Hey, thank you, Mars. Uh, yo, Mars is my new partner, bro. Hey, Mars. <laughs> hey, Chad. Chad, hey, Chad hey, I'm, putting a, I'm putting up a poll. What type of duo is uh, ticketing? World, we better yep. chill and pull now. And anytime yep. chilling pool, the deal is still up, sucker. We pull up on your show on today, Thursday. You can pull up on my show whenever you want. Meanwhile, the meanwhile the dude in the corner had already asked you to get the contract out. However you two want it. However you two want it, me and Mars. Now you now you want to challenge us, but that's fine. You 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 want to get absolutely come 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 through come through come through yep come through absolutely you didn't show up never showed up never showed up never showed up. We send the link all the time. We send the link all the time. Link all the time. We send the we send the we send the we send the link all the time. Ticket, ticket what, ticket, what ticket, what ticket, what ticket does is ticket explains logic in a broad sense, and he leaves out a lot of interesting facts. That doesn't mean he's lying because he's not lying. He just sometimes he forgets things. Like for example, when he brings up the fact that they built that unit with Mo Williams being an all-star. Well, Mo Williams became an all-star that one year with James. He didn't make the all-star team any time before that. And he didn't make the all-star team any time after he left James. That's first of all. Number two, when to Mars's point, they were building those units exactly like that. But when the Celtics came along, it got a little bit different, especially in the Western Conference. The Western Conference was also doing the same thing when they ended up with the Lakers, ended up getting Pau Gasol with the Phoenix Suns, with Mamari Stoudemire and Steve Nash with the Dallas Mavericks. They had one star, like you just mentioned, and a bunch of defensive guys. Right. But with all of that being said, if you look at the way the, if you if you look at the way the Cleveland Cavaliers organization, the way that they built that unit, was it a poorly ran organization as opposed to the way the Detroit Pistons were doing it, the way that the Miami Heat were doing it, the way that the Boston Celtics were doing it? I think that they were definitely deficient as opposed to what those guys were doing, which would explain why those guys won. Dama. It's, 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 it's so funny, funny it's so it, because in those years, in those years, everybody – Everybody was cursing the Cavs and Dan Gilbert. And now all of a sudden, some time goes by and, oh, no, they weren't that bad. They were wonderful. What changed? What changed no, nothing, in the last hold on, hold on. Nothing. 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 Bro, they went nothing to the changed. NBA Finals. They, they, they were talking about Dan Gilbert like James games. Dolan. Fluent, you're talking about a coach. The coach won coach of the year. They won 66 I'm, about, I'm not talking about the coach. I'm talking James about the owner. Hey, they were hey, talking listen. about Dan Gilbert. They were talking about Dan Gilbert like he was James Dolan. Are y'all insane? Bro, bad bad teams run. You can name all the worst teams in the NBA. Those are the poorly ran teams. Fluent just sat here and told y'all with a straight face, he doesn't think the Toronto Raptors today are a poorly ran team. But the Cavs were ran better when LeBron was there than what they think the Raptors look like right now. These are facts. No. Damo, can, that, I, oh, I would like to, oh, I would like to hear from you. Hold, hold up. Damo, I would like to hear you to say anything bad about, about the, the Cavs. Would they be, or were they, a good ran team or a poorly, uh, poorly ran organization? I would say in the 2000s, before the 2010s, the Cavaliers, obviously they weren't the worst ran team, but I don't think compared to the other competing teams, trying to win championship teams, I don't think they were ran as well as those guys. Like um, Mars alluded to, yeah, they, they missed out on some trades or whatever like that. Obviously, every team's not going to be perfect. But I, 
I think they could have been a bit better. Could they have put better talent around LeBron James? Yeah. I, but I'm not going to say they were the worst ran team. They were obviously worst ran teams. They, they, they weren't the worst. They had, they had a 61 run record all one year. They go to the finals a different year. Like, I, I'm not going to say they were a poorly ran franchise, but they definitely could have been better. Like, I 100% believe they could have been better. I'll never sit here and say they couldn't have been better and LeBron didn't deserve better. But yeah, he didn't have absolute worst of the worst. Nowhere near it. No, I thank you for saying that, Damo. At least you're being real. It was nowhere near it. If you think about it, bro, like I said, they went to an NBA finals. A con- How many conference finals they went to? Like two or three? Three? Four? How many conference finals they went to in LeBron's first seven years, Chill Town? Three, I think. Oh, I thought no, 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 they went to three. Two. They went in 07 when they went to the they NBA finals in 09. Oh, 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 That's it. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. They went in 07. Hold on, stop right there. I'll tell you right now. In 06, they lost in the semifinals. Right. In 07, they went to the yeah. finals. It means that they was in the finals. In 08, when they lost to the Celtics, I was in game seven of the East semifinals. In right. 09, they lost to Orlando in the East finals. In 10, when they had Shaq, they lost in the semifinals. Right, right. So okay, twice. so they, in, in so seven twice. years, in seven years, they went to an NBA finals. They, they went to a game seven in the semifinals and two conference finals. And that's supposed to be a poorly ran organization? What a team, what a, what a, I just don't understand. Can we stop? Can we stop acting like like a bunch of their success wasn't like a at bare minimum 60-40 LeBron like reason LeBron was the reason why no, no, they no, were no, that great. No, 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 like the no, team. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I just went through. I, no, no, no. I just went through and went through the, all these rosters while you were sitting there talking and everybody right. was going. I was quiet looking at the rosters because I wasn't too familiar with every roster from the year of two thousand. What did I look at? Two thousand five, two thousand six season. I looked from 05, 06. From there all the way to 2010, I looked at the moves they made, the guys they brought in. Between guys like Wally Serpiak, between guys like Ben Wallace, who was over the hill at the time, between guys like Shaq, who was over the hill at the time, between guys like Antoine Jameson, which he was a 20-point-per-game score before he got there, but his numbers dropped because he's playing with a different cast of guys. It is what it is. LeBron he averaged 16, he averaged 16 and a half. Yeah, That's great. I, great is crazy, but he he wasn't a bum. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So, okay, again, I'm not saying he was a bum, but it, let's not make it seem like LeBron just had this roster that was just equal to everyone else he was competing with. He was better than was, all of them. He won. Uh, no, the LeBron team. was just great. LeBron was just great. That, that's really what it was. That's what man. it boiled down to. Oh, all right, the okay, year he won sixty okay. something games, LeBron was just great. Well, hold and on. Then they the finals. LeBron was just great. He was so great. Hold on. 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 Hold it, it wasn't like they didn't do anything, well, but they literally – they could have done hey, more. They could have brought other guys. This is your YouTube basketball career right here. Okay. I got one question for you. This is going to end your basketball career. If LeBron was so great – Here we go. In those years in Cleveland, that it was his re- – he was the main reason. They won 66 and 61 games. Why did he go to a Miami Heat team with more talent and win less games, sucker? Since, I mean, because it was his plan. No, no, no. He didn't see taking a tired shot. What a goofy logic is that? All the years in Miami, he never won 56 games. He never won as many games he won in Cleveland and Miami. I'm sorry. I think that I think in uh, in uh, I'm 100 confident that when they in 2012, 2013, when they won 27 straight games, which is the NBA, which is second all time in NBA history, I think that year they won 66 games that year and won the NBA championship. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Please, please go do that. Let's look it up. In the 12, 13 season, I, I I'm 100 think, think confident. That's right. I think that's. Right. I am 100 confident they won 66 games in 27 games straight. Oh, hey, so- which is, okay, so which is all second all-time in NBA history. That That's number one. Game. Number two, when you talk about that oh when you talk about that 08, 09 season when they when they won 66 games. Ticket, why do you tend to leave out the important stuff? I'm not saying again that you're lying. I'm not saying that you're lying because I don't think you're lying. I just think that you forget stuff. So for example, <laughs> the year that he won the league MVP that year in 08, 09, how come you forget to leave out the fact that he led them in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. The what whole team. The he led the team? entire team in points, team? rebounds, yeah, stat the pattern. entire team. Well, okay, so let me That's ask you number question. one. Me Mars, you, you better you better tag in, Mars. Mars ain't got a tag you sure in. Sure know how to pick him, Mars. Not only did he not only did he do that in the 0809 season when he won the league MVP, he also led them in triple doubles. 
Not only did he lead them in triple doubles, he also led the entire team. <laughs> he also led the entire team in fourth quarter points. In fact, he led the NBA in fourth quarter points. Mm -hmm. He led the NBA in second half points. Mm -hmm. He led the NBA in points on the road that year. Mm -hmm. This is this is the guy who's on a crew that's equal to him or equal to everybody else. And he's doing all of this. I don't know any league MVP. I don't know any franchise player who's doing all of that on one crew. All of that. There has to be some median somewhere. Meanwhile, this guy is doing all of this stuff, but you're sitting here telling us that he was equal or the crews that he was getting was equal to what they were doing, oh, and he I'm just underperformed. I'm That's what you're crews, telling us. No, 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 66 the wins. These are facts. He just no, didn't I'm get it done. Crews, Meanwhile, the, he's doing everything. I'm saying the teams These are the facts. Him, I'm saying that the teams that they put around LeBron James were good enough to help him elevate, because listen, those years, you we talked the years right before then, LeBron's game didn't drastically change. Because remember, when he left Cleveland and went to Miami and got to the NBA Finals, he still ain't had no jump shot. Nigga. That he is still ain't not true. Shot. And Come when on. he went, he so wait, are you talking about 2011? Is hold that on, what you're talking wait. about? I'm, I'm saying, hold on. Okay, I'm 2011. I can get with that. Cleveland. Sure. I can, can get with that. In Cleveland. 2011. So when he went to Miami, Mm -hmm. His game hadn't vastly improved yet. His game didn't improve, His game didn't improve until after 2011, sucker. So okay. So, okay. About? Okay. So, 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 2011, sucker. No, 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 no. So, 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 are you saying Cleveland didn't do a good job of developing LeBron James and it took him that's going what it to like to me, Tom. No, that's, that, 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 that's what it sounds like he's saying to me. Sounds like a poorly run organization. That, that, that's what it sounds like to me. No, hey, fluent. And guess what? I dare, because I know I know some players that played on on them teams in Cleveland, and I'm gonna hit them up and see if they want to come on the show. And I dare y'all to tell them yeah. that team was under talented around them. And I'm gonna try to hit the homies up and see if someone. Take it. Here you here you go again. You take it. Understand something. I live in your building. I'm from your neighborhood. You don't scare me with bringing anybody around me. You don't scare me with that stuff. That, that, that stuff don't bother me. I ain't scared of that stuff. Bring whoever you want to bring. You kidding me? You got you got some nerve. Chill, chill and ticket. I not still, still got some of y'all. I'm gonna go get the homies. Go get the homies. Yeah, you know I'm my, still, you know my phone number. You know where I live. I'm pretty, I'm pretty go sure get the I'm homies. Jason Williams more scared right on this show and this Out of your man. damn mind. Go get the homies. All right, chilling ticket. I'm muted both of you guys. Me, bro. I, 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 I spoke on this yesterday, bro. I don't got can you? I know. I just want to know where the Cavs are poorly ran organization. I'm not getting involved, and you can't make me. <laughs> I will okay, take. I will okay. take no part in this. Shit, huh? I'm, trying right, to get, cool. I'm trying to get up out of hey, here. Let's get. Let's hey, move we, on. Uh, with that being said, we are gonna move on. So let's let let's keep it pushing. I'm gonna jump straight into super chats right from the top. Indoor voices said, "My favorite team will be wherever Scoot ends up." I got a question. I'm, I'm gonna let you read this. Who's chat. got the second pick? He's going to Portland. Charlotte ain't gonna take him. He's going to Portland. If well, they, they might trade. They might trade the pick. So who knows? Right yeah, well, yeah, who knows that, that was my question to you guys. So this is where we are with Damian Lillard. We're in. Year, we're going into year twelve. We've probably seen all of it, right? We've probably seen all of it, and with us seeing all of it, I think that Charlotte passes on Brandon. I, I think they pass on Scoot and they take Miller. Mm -hmm. So with them taking Miller. How do you feel about moving off of Dame and starting over with Scoop and off, Simons? Dame's not going anywhere. Dame's they not they Dame's should Dame's move off Dame. Dame. That, that, that'll, that'll be moving Dame. Dame's yeah, not they're... cut like your king. Dame want to win in Portland. Dame, Dame, like Dame will die in a Portland jersey. Damn right. And I respect Dame. it. That's and the trouble exactly is probably going gonna have to happen. They, they, they like them jersey sales. They like them mm -hmm. ticket sales. They, they like having a, an attraction to the team. It's a yep. business. I look at it. It's, they look at it as a business at the end of the day. Sure, they absolutely. Restart. Scoop it might is. be this amazing guy. I hope he is because I, for what I think, I'm, I hope he's amazing. But I don't think they want to restart with Dan. I don't, I don't know if I, 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 I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm feeling your energy, Damo. You're not feeling Scoop. You no, think he? I don't think he's this. From the from the people I know, uh, people mm -hmm. I talk to about him, I got guys like in my camp that call like thinks he's generational. I don't mm. think he's generational. I say I hear guys say he's something we've never seen. I yeah. don't believe that. I think he's a, another iteration of what we're seeing now with a lot of talented, uber athletic guards. I think mm -hmm. he's going to be a good player. Hell, I think at worst, at, at best, he's going to be a great player. But I don't think he's going to be generational. What do, I, what I do you think, think he's, he's like? Pants? Never. Where, where do you where do you, no, where do you think? 
I think he falls on that line of, and I'm just saying the type of players in terms of just how his athleticism is, the the Derrick Rose, Westbrook, John Wall type of athletic guard, a lower oh. J- oh, uh, John Wall. I don't think John Wall was a right now. John Wu was in generation. I, think I mean, but I think he's at the lower end of those guys. And if you're at the lower oh, end of those okay. guys, I don't think you're generation. Oh, like I said, a oh, lower okay, John okay. Morant, a lesser John Morant. A lower version? Okay. Ooh, a lesser John Morant. Oh. A lesser John Morant with no guns. So again, great player. I just don't <laughs> think that's generation. Am I am I the only one that's like kind of not really low? I was gonna say really low, but low on this year's draft. Yeah, but you you think Wemby's gonna get hurt, which is a valid concern. Um, I don't know what you think about Brandon Miller and Scoot. I'm low on Brandon Miller. I think taking him at two is a terrible decision. But Scoot, I think, is good. I think Wemby's only concern is injuries, even though it's a very big concern. But I think he'll pan out. Um, I like I like I like the Thompson I like the Thompson twins. I like Cam Whitmore. You're like a great Jared group. Walker. Remember that song, the Thompson twins? They say no. Mm-hmm. You trust them? You trust the Thompson, Thompson twins? twins? I yeah, they're like, I'm, 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 like hear, I'm hearing they didn't go up against much competition, so maybe they just looked better than everyone. But just just from my eye test, that type of athleticism, that type of feel for the game, those type With of defensive instincts, mm-hmm. that seems to translate to me. So I'm very high on them. Plus, Houston's going to get one of them, so I have to be high on them anyway. A men but, looks better Thompson than... Thompson twins are the real deal. Go yeah, a man, a man, they a man are the real deal. He, look, he, he, look, he, he looks like he's got a better upside than the other one. Okay. I agree. Asar's more like an off-ball guard type where a man can like run an offense type. Yes. That's what it looks like to me. But here's also the thing with that too, Mars, though. If I'm playing with if, – if me and my brother are playing and my brother always runs point guard the whole time, like he's been assigned to point guard and we literally have a similar skill set, a similar build, similar athleticism, similar ball handling, you can't say that I'm not a lead guard if they're just giving him the ball the whole time. If, if, mm-hmm. uh, if LaMelo plays with Scoot and all of a sudden – they move Scoot off ball because Lamelo has the ball in his hands, or vice versa. You can't say, "Oh well, Scoot's not a not a lead guard just because he's playing with Lamelo and he has the ball the whole time." Anthony Simons, for instance, I watched him run that whole Portland offense last year. I'm not saying he's a better playmaker than Dame, but when he comes and plays with Dame and he's off ball, obviously people are going to say he's a shooting guard and he's not a lead guard. Is, is but he can't play simple? the lead guard. Mm-hmm. Thompson Twins. I just well, when it comes to the Thompson Twins, I just. <laughs> It's just something about being 20 years old playing against a bunch, but uh, playing against mainly 17 year olds that I'm just like, I, I just got to see it. Yeah, they're they're like 19, 20. They're, they're like, not, yeah, I think that's like 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. They're 19, yeah. 20, the overtime, 20. The overtime league is basic. The overtime yeah. league is, is 16 to 20 year olds. It's basically an upgraded AAU tournament. That's all. But it is. there are two more guys that are trying to go league bound, too. I think really what it comes down to, this league is like depending on them to be good because <laughs> if, if you, they're if not good. Playing, that OTE league is going to the dumpster. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. But if, you, if you're 20, if you're 20 playing against 16 year olds, bro, like, nah, you that 16. You don't got no. Action. I will say, you know, I, I, will say I don't know how much of the league is 16 and 17 year olds, but there are it, 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 right. it ranges from 16 okay. to 20. Right. So okay. with that being known, just because I don't know everybody in the league, I can't sit there and say, okay, this team is a bunch of grown men. This team is the 16 year olds. I just assume it's a mix of but a, a mix of all of it. And mm-hmm. you being 19 on the 20 inside, going against a bunch of guys that are still technically in high school, mm-hmm. I I just don't trust it. They do look talented. They 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 look like they got good upside. I just need mm-hmm. to see it. They just gotta mm-hmm. prove me wrong. I gotta see it to believe it with them. Other guys, I, I believe in them. Uh, I, I, school, I, I believe in school. Vic, I mm-hmm. believe in Vic. Um, hell, even guys that are telling the draft, Gigi Jackson, shout out Gigi Jackson. I mm-hmm. believe in Gigi. I don't believe in guys playing some um teenagers and you about to be 20. I feel I feel you, Damo. The thing about the thing about it with those two for me mm-hmm. is you can't teach size and you can't teach world class athleticism. You can't. Them dudes are OD athletic mm-hmm. and they're tall. You can see that they got a handle. They can shoot fairly well. You can see their moves. You can see their skill set. Mm-hmm. So with, hey, with with that being said, that that they are a prospect. They're elite prospects. Whether they're elite players. I don't know, but as a prospect and just based on their, their their fit and what they look like, they they NBA ready. One of my I'm, best t- I'm taking a Men Thompson over Brandon Miller. Like if I had the third pick, I'd take a Men Thompson instead of Brandon not if Miller. I got a lead guard already. Yeah, and that's why I feel like they're going like four or five. That's why uh, Scoot's not going to go top two. If you or even three, because Dra- drafting draft, draft for fit that high in the draft is just bad. Decision making. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, depends on how good the talent is. You can you can draft on you you can draft on need if the talent is there. If what if what you need is still high in talent, you can draft based on need. 
It's not like there's a significant isn't, drop between the guards. Isn't that, the isn't that, the isn't I, I, that I watched Golden State draw from Pickard, James, and, James Wiseman, and, 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 and they didn't and utilize him well. I'm still high on James Wiseman. Isn't that like with the Pistons? Be high on James Wiseman. Say it again, Tom. I said, isn't that when you draft for need? This is why you get Darko on the Pistons. This is why you get Sam Bowie on Portland. This is why you get like there's there are picks where they've picked for need mm-hmm. and and it doesn't work. Whereas Houston picks okay. a larger one, even though they have right. Ralph Sampson, and they right. just pick the best player. And so I just think you take mm-hmm. the best play- when it's that high. When it's that high, hey, after five, right. six, seven, you fine, go for need. But when you're one, two, three, you take the best possible player and you figure it out. You figure so, it out. But since so, wasn't so, bad, he was just not, injured. Well, well not, 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 on, not only that. Not only was he not bad during that time. You picked the big man. That's who you no, picked. No, I, I, that's I number understand one. that. Number that's two, last I checked, they already had a really good two guard at that time. We don't know who Jay is, and we already got a really good two guard at that time. Right? Move him to the now, point. We, you make it now, work. And which Scott, Clyde Drexler did make the All Star team as, as as a lead guard. He did do that. No doubt about go. that. Yeah. However, yeah. however, when you're talking about. Um, I, I, I forgot who you just brought up. You talk about Darko. The first one I brought up was Darko. Yeah, right. they, if they, we, 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 we talk about Darko, who's clearly the mm-hmm. better player. I know you don't like the coach there, so okay, fine. You got to fire the coach. You make it work. That that makes you a better team. That makes you a better team versus that high picking for a position. I just I don't like that. But in recent times, that's, you that's can look at, at you can look at the inverse and look at the 76ers during the whole uh, trust the process era. They went what three straight drafts of drafting best talent available, and they went with straight bigs, and it just didn't work. They would have been a team that they probably should have drafted off of fit and need instead of just drafting off of who was available. If well, they, they got they, bamboozled they, with they got bamboozled with Markel. They got, they got tricked. Well, yeah, I'm not tricked. even talking about Markel. I'm talking genuinely. They went well, did Nerlens, they go, Jalil, and Joel. Yeah, Jalil, Nerlens, mm-hmm. and then um Okafor. Jo- hey, Flo, Joel, Joel. Where whatever. goes the I best three? Some, I got some ether for you later on, Flo. When we double back, you ain't got okay. no ether. I don't. I don't know that. I don't know the difference. Well, I'm well, I'm talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you. And I'm talking to you. And I'm talking to you. You were the best players in the draft, and again, there's with drafting and. They worked out and they developed. Hey, mm-hmm. although they might have not all worked together, guess what? There's some great trade trade bait, right? If they're that good, you can trade them for other pieces, right? Mm-hmm. Versus, I don't. Again, I don't know that draft off the top of my head you to tell you who, who went after them, but but now, just, Mom, like Darko, a- just like you got, you said uh, the Pistons got they got bamboozled by drafting off fit with Darko. They got bamboozled off drafting off what they believed the best talent was with Jaleel Okafor. Jaleel Okafor literally was if he was everyone says he was drafted five ten years before that. Been yeah. great. It was it was right. it was great fit for that era. Mm. He didn't fit in the era that was coming up. Nerlens so well when he was picked at the time again. I want to say Nerlens was. Set well, hold on, he's not fitting for the era, era and not fitting for the team are two different things. Though it was both though. They had like five centers. They had a bundle of centers. He didn't fit with that team or the. He sat out the whole season too. He had a, he had a knee he had a knee injury too. Oh, then, hey, there's up. there's always exceptions to the rule. Like they have 25 centers right now. They got to figure it out. Who's banging their mic? Yeah, I'll just I'll just mute it. Plus, they should have the, the Sixers. I'll I'll go down fighting saying that they ruined the process when they didn't take um Jason Tatum. They took Markel. I they got tricked though, though Damo. You gotta understand yeah, what Mar- happened. Mar- Markel was the best prospect in the draft. No one can foresee that he was gonna forget how to shoot. Man, like, nobody. Man, like, Jason nobody. Tatum was the best the draft prospect is, in that draft. And Danny I, I, Ainge I knew that. No, and Danny Ainge know. knew that. No, that Danny, 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 Danny Ainge saw it, but. The consensus was Marco was going one and right. It wasn't crazy. Danny Ainge knew that. Got, what yeah, that, that was type of shit. Was he was pushing the he was pushing the Markel Fultz that defensive upside. I mean, yeah. it's all good Yo, like I'm six sorry. years later to say, oh, they was clearly wrong. But at the time, right. I was Mark, talking about yeah, Mark, Come on, no, no, no. Yo, was, I'm a Mark person was here. Oh, oh no, that's number fine. One. I don't, I don't doubt that you saw Jason Tatum's upside and said he should have gone number one. I've had drafts where I'm like, yeah, I don't see it with this guy, and I end up being right. That's fine. Right. But the consensus was Markel should go number one. I don't think Philly made a mistake picking the consensus number one pick. Me personally. And, and Jason Tatum, the, the things that we see now, the, exactly. The things that we see now with Jason Tatum, they were evident. They were he, had, he, had, he had inconsistency. So you you never knew. Like you, it was, It's like, yeah, he's tall. He's he's six eight, six nine. He got a handle. But I don't know. Is he is he really a killer? Is he is he this? Is he that? And obviously he's playing at Duke with other five-star talents. So that uh, that can water you down as well. But Markel Fultz, when I tell you guys I'm in Seattle right now, and he was right up the street at UW doing what he was doing every single night, 
Yes, the team was not a good team. They went to the NIT. They went to the NIT. But what he was doing night in and night out was nothing less than incredible. You guys but go back and watch. Didn't he get hurt though too? Once he came, didn't he get hurt? N- not here, you up. He well, played and, 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 and when he mm-hmm. came into the NBA. Didn't get hurt. Yeah, he tore his knee up. Tore his knee up. I thought something that shoulder thing. I thought that shoulder. Thing. I I thought thought shoulder was what I like. I thought he had a shoulder injury yeah, too. Yeah, shoulder, yeah. It was it was the shoulder one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right what was it that they were saying about him though? They were saying like they couldn't really find anything structurally wrong with his shoulder. It was upstairs. Yeah, that was in. That was well, all. He, he, he's start, he's, start, he's starting to look good in Orlando. So, yeah, he is. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he is. Still, still quite up, injuries, upstairs one's worse than any any injury you can have yeah. anywhere. Else. Yeah, he was in. The, he was imagining an injury. Bro. That's crazy. <laughs> all right, y'all. Indoor what voices says at? start bench cut role players: Eddie House, Patty Mill, Nate Robinson. In that order. Start Patty Mills, bench Eddie House, cut Nate Robinson. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm saying start Patty. Patty oh, boy. No, no, go I'm, ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm starting Eddie House. I'm starting Patty. Um, benching Nate and um, cutting Eddie House. Anybody that let Ray Frost and Skip Timmons slap him in the head like that, I don't want to. Well, that that look like that look like something your uncle do, don't it? Like to, yeah. to, his, to his eight year old nephew. He smacked the headband off of him, man. Come on, I don't need it on my team. Y'all on East side the juice out of his head. Literally, headband was like this afterwards. He just looking at the ref. I don't want him on my team. Then he gonna go to the mic at the game and talk about some yeah with dudes resort to push league tactics. Man, get out of here, man. Man, I'm not gonna hear. Yeah, man. You're I'm right, Damo. I, I give you credit on that. <laughs> he made his headband do a 360. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so Alan R with the super chat said, Mars looking radiant in that lighting. Oh. <laughs> sun is sunning out there, ain't it, Mars? Hey, check, check you out. We missed it's somebody it's off that ass whooping yesterday. Where is the legend of losing it? He got his ass whooped so bad he don't want to come back today for more. <laughs> you got your Mar- ass whooped that bad low the last this last week. Dub and Mars been whooping on your ass and me. Where you at, bro? Huh? It's been a bad week for you. <laughs> Low really did have two bad episodes this week. I, I don't understand it because Low was supposed to easily take the cake for this week. Easily. easily. Jokic won, got the finals MVP. His All his narratives was proved, proven. And lost and it. Instead of coming in here and sticking to bring his guns, instead of coming in here and sticking to his guns, he, he jumps off cliffs that I'm like, Low, I don't know why you're doing this right now. I'm gonna be honest. To be, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Care about the MVP. I know he doesn't care about the Finals MVP, but how the hell you lose it one no, at one day? You don't mind it. You, you, don't, you don't lose. A job. You don't keep. I'm gonna be, you I'm, don't keep I'm, your uh your your employee of the month plaque, man. You just let it sit in storage somewhere. You don't care about that. I have mine. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Ma, Ma, Mars, Mars looked like Drago on Apollo Creed yesterday. Mars, Mars, I, I, I what you call it? I should have stepped in and, and stopped the fight, but I was really enjoying that. I ain't gonna. <laughs> That I was ugly. really enjoying that. That was ugly yesterday. Mars looked like Drago on Apollo Creed. Yo, go, hold on, hold on, get, get get in the middle of that. Nah, uh, uh-uh. uh, nope. Don't stop this. Bro, Let's keep this going. Like that. Like that. No, Mars, you, you try to you try you try to break that up. You might get hit too. Yeah, don't uh, uh-uh. uh, don't get in the middle of that. <laughs> don't get in the middle of that. Let, 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 let him let him let him fight. Eh? Mars, yeah, Mars. Be nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, hey Morris, are you growing like that? Because after the way you was kicking low ass yesterday, or are you growing like that because you and Ticket have now teamed up? Which one? Hey, listen, we got the best. It's, 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 it's just really, it's just really sunny. Uh, That's all. <laughs> the sun is shining. I'm proud, I'm proud of Mars after yesterday, bro. But Mars, my boy, now man. I rock because I thought I was the only one he was talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, be, be careful, be careful, be, be careful, ticket. He's he'll tell you he'll sell you. He'll sell nah, you out. Hey, 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 look, I ain't got a problem with it, as long as we keep it at a hundred with everybody else. I ain't got a problem with it. <laughs> Mars got Stockholm syndrome. The way the way he left oh, Dub wow. just okay. to die on it. <laughs> hey, Bob, you terrible. <laughs> hey, so I'm I'm gonna read this super chat from my man MP NKA. He sent the super chat yesterday. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get around to it yesterday, but I'm gonna get around to it today. He said if Harden was able to translate to his regular his to his regular season performances into the playoffs, how many rings does he win, and where does he rank all time? We're having a completely different conversation about James Harden. So that th- that year he averaged 36 a game and won the league MVP. If he was able to translate that into the playoffs and they beat the Golden State Warriors and they end up winning the NBA championship or the year before that, when he averaged 34 a game and that translate and they beat the Golden State Warriors again, are we having a completely different conversation about 
about James Harden. He's he's already one of the he's already one of the one of the best. That's a ridiculous. You, a you know how many you know how few people translate their regular season into the into the playoffs? Not many. No, not many. It's not it's many. Not a lot. Mm-hmm. No, no, not it's many. Not. Shaq, no, Kobe, Kobe, great. Shaq, Kobe, Hakeem. You could probably Mike. name a dozen. You could probably Shaq, name a dozen. Shaq, Shaq, Kobe, Hakeem, Mike, Scotty, Will. Uh, uh, I mean, Scotty. Will? I'm not Will. No, 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 no. Scotty. No, 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 no. Scotty. No. Scotty, Kareem, Magic, Isaiah, James Worthy. The list goes on. Charles Barkley. Uh, let me keep going. We're talking, about, we're talking about number ones. We're talking about number ones. Oh, number one's okay. Well, let's keep going then. We can go all the way across the league. Vince Carter. Uh, oh. Alex, well, mm. and stepped up big in that series. He just, they just, mm. he just missed a shot. Vince just stepped up big in the series against AI? In it 2001. Was- yeah, he did. He, he, he did do that. Yeah, he, 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 was in the, he was in the playoffs more than one time. Don't lie. He, 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 he was balling in the playoffs. He won. We're talking about consistently. You saw it. I, I did, but I said consistently. Every time he went to the playoffs, didn't he ball out? Not no. every time. Not I'm, saying wasn't very... well. I'm saying he played well. Vince Carter, you talking about? When Vince Carter was in his prime, when he was going to the playoffs, he yep. wasn't losing because he wasn't playing well. Well, yo, fellas, I, I don't want, want this to turn into a Vince Carter thing. I want to come back to the super chat. Right, I do right, want to know, if, if Harden translates, what rings does he potentially win? It's, well, how it's 2018. Does he beat LeBron that's in the it. final? That's yeah. it. Yeah, even, e- even if he fully translates, it is his hold normal. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, but LeBron's the greatest player you ever seen, okay. but he lose to a dude with titties. <sighs> he just lost to you. That's average. Yes, that's he just lost to you. No, I'm saying yeah. back then. That's I'm average. That, that, that's that's average. So, 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 that's so, 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 quote unquote, a dude with titties that's averaging 36 and 10. That's what we're talking about. So if that translates into the playoffs, oh, no, 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 right? If that translates uh, I, I, into the playoffs, I don't, I don't think James why is that? Why, why is that a knock on him? Because, because Explain that. Throws, because the free throws didn't translate to the playoffs. That's the problem with James Harden. He wasn't getting the same calls he was getting in the regular that, season, sir. Even, even though he should have been, but that's. And then his percentage over. wasn't as high. Remember, he was leading the league in free throws at that time during the regular season. So he was. But getting that's to the, the point. Right. Ticket. The point no, is, is all that stuff translates to the playoffs. All the stuff that he was doing in the regular season now translates to the playoffs. Yo, my point is this. All them fouls he was getting in the regular season, baiting dudes, shooting threes, baiting dudes, getting fouls on threes. He wasn't right. getting those in the playoffs. So right. now his game changed because his game was predicated a lot on him drawing fouls, manipulating the referees, and getting to the free throw line. Because if you look at his field goal percentage, he wasn't a great field goal shooter as far as guards are concerned. He wasn't a great three-point shooter. But the man was shooting damn near, what, 13, 14 free throws a game. So if you cut that all the way in half in the playoffs, now you cutting a whole lot of James Harden's uh, 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 his game off. So that's what happened in the playoffs. He wins no the goals. super chat. It's zero. He wins zero chips. I think. I think he wins. You know, I don't think he beat LeBron James. I don't think he beat LeBron James because, like I said, he wouldn't be getting the same calls. In 2018, 2018 is the only year I think they win. Yeah, that 2018 Cavs team shouldn't even been there. So yeah, I, I I genuinely think he probably would have won that one. But that's it though. Uh, any other ones I would have to really like look into who went yeah. what they were actually doing. 2015 was Golden State. I think Golden State was just a better team. 2016, they were the eight seed. Um, the Golden State again. 2017, they lost to the Spurs, but Golden State would have been the conference finals opponent. I think they lose. 2018 is the year I think they would have won. 2019, they lost to Golden State. I still think they lose, even if James Harden tried. I think James Harden actually played well in that series anyway. Um, 2020, that was the bubble year. Russell Westbrook was hurt in the postseason. James Harden actually played well in that playoffs as well. I still don't think they win. 2021, now we got Brooklyn. If he stays, if he stays healthy in Brooklyn, I think they win. So that's not even about translating. That's just about staying healthy. Um, 2022 in Philly, in Philly I, don't, I don't think they win. Um, and this year... I mean, Stop no, it. no, Stop no. It. So yeah, one, one ring, twenty eighteen, one ring, one ring. So zero. Yeah. So his only win come against LeBron James. Yep. He doesn't even make it to that final. But, but that's your, but that's your king, right, Chill? Yeah, the best yeah, ever. That's right. Standard. That's right. That's right. Get the best ever. Eat it, ticket. Eat it. Hater, eat hard. it, hater. Be that level of a eat hater. it, eat it, hater. You always talk about me. Eat it, hater. Choke on your venom. Eat it, hater. Choke on your venom. Eat it. I'm hating. Eat it, hater. I'm hating. Eat it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
No, I'm, I'm not going to hold I'm you on. Hating. Eat it, hater. I'm hating, but the Eat dude it. He with said he quit. Talk on your venom. The dude he played Talk with on said all he your venom. On TV. Eat it. I'm hating. Eddie House, did, you welcome. Eat it. Come on. Did you not? Did you not hear what Scotty <laughs> Pippen was saying about Jordan? But you don't believe Scotty Pippen, do you? Huh? I said you heard what Scottie Pippen said about Jordan. No, Jordan, Scottie Scottie Pippen Pippen said Jordan oh, but there we go. We got, but it's different when Scottie he says. Hold on, no, no, no. We know, hold on. All we right. know why Scottie's doing this. He's doing this because of Larson. Hey. He <laughs> always uh, who knows? Who knows why they're saying that? Who knows? Oh, no, I, think, hold on, hold on, I do think that has something to do with it, though. I do. I do think that has something to do with it. I do. We know. We know what's up. I do. I do think that has something to do with it. Or should I say, in these sheets? All right, y'all. Next super chat. Hey, yo. Ethan, Ethan, the press Cavs fan, said, get the likes up or else we're going to hear a story about when Fluent was driving to Denver. You got a bunch of them. Let's hear it, Fluent. He, he got, he got a bunch it. of them, so y'all better get them likes up. I was up. driving from Denver to San Francisco, actually. Mm -hmm. you, yes, yeah, yeah. Y'all better get them likes up. Which, which so freeway did you take? Did you take the 80? Yo, the uh, you unless, the likes go, unless the likes go up to 600, I was driving I through Wyoming, right? We're this full story. And so I had, mm -hmm. I had the cruise control at 90 miles an hour, and obviously I get pulled over. And the cop comes over, and he's got, you know, that big State trooper hat on with the buckle right here in front of his chin. See, this is what y'all started. Just yeah, I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. His guns, guns, guns kind of cocked. He goes, "You know how fast she was driving, son?" And I was like, <laughs> "I had my cruise control on at I think seventy five, whatever the speed limit is." He goes, "I clocked you at eighty eight miles an hour," and I said, "Oh, too bad I wasn't driving a DeLorean. I could have gone back in time and driven by you slower." Snaps off his That's buckle. Fine. He goes, "Ha!" That's funny enough to get you out of a ticket, and he let me go. Mm -hmm. And that that was my drive through my Wyoming. Mm -hmm. I got another one. You want to hear another we, one? We, 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 we could do we could do this for the duration. I, I better get I like, the likes. I up. like that. I like that one, Floyd. I wouldn't be mad at one more. Y'all better get them likes up because what we doing? Let me cuss. I can tell you the best story ever, but a dictionary with my mom. That one you want to know. That one. I mean, is that gonna make y'all like the video? Y'all want to hear fluent? This is what y'all. This is what y'all get. So my brother, my brother just got out of jail. And well, he was on what's fair, well, what, what's, what's oh, next one? Time. Okay, time. Time. All right, but next time for real chat, I'm, I'm on y'all. I'm on that one. I was I was locked in. I was ready to hear that. Man. It's a good story. It's I good. like it. <laughs> it looks like you put Mars to sleep. Guess, <laughs> really guess it didn't really have the same effect on the chat. All right, y'all. Drip Bailey with the super chat said, "How old were you when y'all started watching the NBA and what got y'all into it?" Love the show. Um, uh, easy. I went to a, uh, I'm, I'm from North Carolina. I was outside of Charlotte when I was, shit, this was Kobe. This is fresh off of getting out, um, them getting rid of Shaq. So this is 06, 05, 06, I want to say around that time. They played the, uh, Bobcats. Whenever he hit the game when he gets the Bobcats, that was the first game I went to. And that was me getting in the basketball, uh, whole row of Laker fans at the top in the nosebleeds went crazy. Best moment, like literally one of the best basketball memories I've ever had. Chill, bro. My uh, my uncle introduced me to the game in 1978. Walt Frazier was his guy. He couldn't talk about that dude enough. Walt Frazier this, Walt Frazier that, Jabbar this, Jabbar that, George Gervin this, George Gervin that. So he's got me in front of the TV watching these dudes, and next thing I know, he's got me on the court learning how to dribble with my left hand and my right hand and spin, and he's won't put the ball in my hand. So that's how I got it. That's how I got here. Okay, Ox, you were about to go? Yeah, I was going to say it's like literally all my life, bro. I've always been watching basketball. My whole family just played ball. My mom, my cousins used to, you know, make us watch like the tapes, the magic tapes and all that. I don't remember nothing but watching basketball. Fluent? It was 1948. George <laughs> Michael was the NFL Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> 19, 1980s my cousin forced me to watch the lakers in the finals uh magic johnson's rookie year and i was like i was hooked i, I was hooked we watched those games and i was it was over was that what yeah. made you a lakers fan that's why that's why i'm a, that's why magic's my favorite player mm -hmm. and why I'm a lakers fan. yeah absolutely hey that's a hell of a year to come yeah, in I'm, imagine know, if watch, you made you, imagine if you made you watch the seattle supersonics finals you'd have been a seattle fan is that what happened yeah it was a year earlier i was yeah yeah damn so yeah. you was robbed I know, right? <laughs> uh, ticket, do you you, you want to chime in on this? What made you start watching basketball? I know, this young kid coming up, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Um, going to the park and just growing up around these NBA players. That's all. Since you were a kid, you're growing up around dudes that's playing in the league at the top of the game, 
you know what I'm saying? And you seeing this, and um, like I said, man, since I was young, just growing up, all I did was play with NBA players all summer long, summer league, everything like that. And just being having the tutelage from them, having guys work with me and stuff like that over the years, that really got me into the game when I was younger. And um, it just stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? So really, you know, just go, getting up. Uh, my friend used to have a, a basketball court at his house down the street from me. Uh, used to have a, a basketball goal outside of, on the side of his house. And we used to go out there and used to play for like four, five, six hours. Mm-hmm. And it went from there. It went from there, picking up to now. I'm going. We going to the actual park. I'm seeing some of the hoopers coming out to the park. I, I mean, I'm looking at these dudes like, damn, who is these guys? I didn't even really know nothing about basketball. We just having fun at that time. But then once you start being around them and start really understanding different things about the game, that's a benefit I think about guys playing with grown men. That's why I, I want to say this too. I think that we see guys like Jokic and these guys advance more because. Like when I went overseas and played pro basketball, uh, when you play pro basketball overseas, especially in Europe, you're seeing these kids coming to gym at five, six years old. They're not going to school. They're going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then they're seeing grown men. Like when they when they finish practice, the grown men going into practice of practice. And some of the kids are sitting and watch the grown men practice for a while. And then they, that's how they come up. And then they'll start playing with grown men. So that's why they're so much more advanced as professionals. That's why they come up with so much more skills, so much more advanced because they introduced to the game early. So I was just blessed to be around a lot of people who, you know what I'm saying, um, made the NBA, who was playing at that level. So that, that really got me into basketball. Take it, a follow-up question for you because Charles Oakley just seemed like the type of dude who, on the surface, yo, don't mess with me. But he just he seemed like the type of dude who, once you, once you down, he got your back no matter what. Is that Oak, the type of dude Oak, he is? Oak, I seen Oak. I seen the first time I saw Oakley, I and mean, this is from uh, just me. Like the first time I saw him, mm-hmm. I can't really. His stories I can't even tell about. Oak, Oak, Oak right. is a real deal, bro. He, it's yeah. not for the cameras. You know what I'm saying? It's not. No, for right. the I don't see. Right. But if I, I can never tell this stuff, I don't see with with Oak. But you know, he 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 a real he a real big dog in the game, man. He's mm-hmm. a guy. Uh, yeah, he's he's that type of dude. Like. He gonna ride with you all the way, and Oak's one of them type of guys, man. That if he got a beef with you, it's a beef for life. It ain't never gonna end. Whenever he see you, it's on sight. And Oak is like that from the day you got beef with him to the day he died. And so these dudes is cut different, you know what I'm saying? And so I seen that. I seen their approach, how they love the game when they come home in the summertime and stuff like that. How they work on the game, just old fashioned stuff, man. It just make you, you know, what I'm saying just respect the grind, man. You know, and they pull they pull younger dudes along. You know what I'm saying? Can I, I can I tell you an Oak story quickly then about that? How they pull younger guys along because everyone knows the story about him slapping the smoke out of out of Tyrone Hill because he owed him some money oh, yeah. for a car wash. But I got a better one. I was sitting uh, baseline with if you watch the Raptors game, you see the guy Nav Batia. I was sitting uh, with him, and Vince Carter got fouled. And you know Vince Carter sometimes in his early days when he get fouled, he'd lay on the ground like he got shot, right? Whatever. Oak <laughs> runs up. And everyone's expecting Oak to pick up Vince, right? But he doesn't. He stands over him. And he stands up and goes, get up. And Vince Carter just went, boom, and stood right back up and, and, and went to shoot his free throws. And I was like, that's what he needed. That's why he was so good for Vince in his career, because he had a guy like Oak who was just like, dude, stop doing that stuff. Get up. He did play for the Raptors for a while. You, you yeah, yeah. That was, that was, that was, that's when I was like, Oak is the man. Like, he just told the best player on the team, get up. And he jumped up like like you're yelling at your kid. He's like, and he went and shot his free throw. So that's what that's, that's what I love about. That's, that's why I love the, they need that toughness. I love the old it's school good. tone. That's why my mentality is like that. I love the old school. The old school cats was like that, bro. Like the old school cats, bro. If you mess with one guy on that team, you're gonna have to go through that whole squad. It was gonna be yep. a ball. And Chill Town said it yesterday, like, bro, it was dudes that was fighting in the playoffs. It wasn't even no suspension, bro. You punch somebody, you back there playing the next game. The worst thing you was gonna get was a technical. So I thought that the league kind of switched up when they took those enforcers and these guys out of the game. I think it kind of messed up the game because now you got all this stuff with John Morant, Zion, all this stuff going on. If you had dudes like Oak and these dudes that's still supposed to be in the league on teams, like I'm not, I'm not saying now, but I'm saying dudes that's like him, if you didn't eradicate these dudes from the league, a lot of this foolishness that's going on wouldn't be going on. Because dudes think John are, Morant would be running around if he had Rick Mahorn on his team? I can tell you all this because this is factual information. Oak used to be the assistant coach over for the Charlotte uh, Bobcats, Charlotte Hornets, right? Oak used to tell dudes he's going to whoop their ass in practice, man. Straight up. He was ready to knock dudes' ass out in practice on the team for cutting up. That's the type of leadership that you need, though, for some of these young guys because they're not going to respect the coaches. If not, you're going to see dudes like Sprewell slapping um, P.J. Carlissimo. You're going to see he dudes. He choked him. Like- he didn't slap him. Choked him. 
well, not, not yeah. What you, you know how much yeah. insurance is on a Lamborghini? Yeah, so I'm just saying, like, you got you got to me, you got to have those guys. I think the NBA need to think about that policy about every team, in my opinion, needs a guy like Udonis has them on the roster. That should be mandatory, bro. I think that's the only reason why Miami keeps overachieving because you got a guy like Udonis has them over there that keeps the guy's mind right in that locker room. And I ain't just talking about on the coaching staff. I'm talking about on the roster. So they're in the ground with you, and they're not just in the coaches' room in the meetings and stuff. Yo, uh, I'm going to answer the question, too. And I'm going to just say, uh, chill, fluent, ticket, Bob, Damo. I'm pretty sure you're old enough. Y'all remember the uh, theme song for NBA on NBC? that's what got me in the hoops yo i my my, my cousins <laughs> that they was older they had cassette tapes up to the up to the ceiling of just different different games and stuff like that that they used to uh you know record i remember i stole VH, through. vhs tapes you mean right? vhs vhs okay. yeah, yeah yeah to this day I, they don't know that i stole them i took them just randomly <laughs> didn't know what was on them they happen to be two Jordan tapes. I will watch these tapes every day. Playoff series of, of Jordan versus um versus the Pacers when they had Mark Jackson, Jalen Rose, uh, you know, and the other guys, Rick Smith, all of that. So that's how I got to learn those guys like that. And I was young watching Jordan and everything. But I, I really, I'm just going to say 1996, Sonics versus Bulls. That's when I became a fan. Hey, look, and that's why I get so mad at Flew and Chill. Because they grew up in that, bro. They know I ain't lying, bro. Fluent and chill, so I grew up in this, bro. Y'all, I'm ashamed of these two dudes, bro. And I mean that when I say that about Chill Town, you and Fluent, bro. Y'all know what this shit was about. I know how them dudes battle, man. The NBA or NBC on the weekends, man. You never could picture Mike going and teaming up with John Starks and Pat Ewing. You never could picture Reggie Miller going and teaming up with Mike. You never could picture Magic going and teaming up. NBA is today, though, ticket. That's what the NBA is. Man, grow and evolve. Mentality, Chill Town. It's our responsibility to keep that mentality going, to keep that toughness going. That doesn't mean that. that You say that about Moses. You say that about Moses joining the 76ers? Do you say that about Drexler joining the Rockets? I'm just curious. Hold on, hold on. no, no, no. But they didn't. They want no weak minded. Do you say that about Chuck going to Phoenix? I, I want to know that you're consistent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this again. They wasn't no weak minded individuals. And when Chuck went to Phoenix, he wasn't going to no super team. What about Moses? What about Moses going to the final loser uh, with Dr. J? What, did Moses already make the championship? The finals. They made it to the finals oh, with Dr. J, Mo Cheeks. He had been to the NBA championship. Oh, yeah, he'd been to the NBA finals. That's right. He he did. Yeah, he'd been in loss. He was he was the reigning MVP and jumped ship and went and joined the, the finals losers. To the I former am, MVP as well. The, MVP the former MVP. MVP. Yeah. Do you, do you hold him the same account? I got a lot of love for Moses. I can't talk about Moses. Like, well, no, 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 you can't. You can't. Because he's no, no, jumping. The, the, the original KD. The original, the original, the original, the original I, I, Dax Becca. Show to get down. I don't want to disrespect his All right, so let's. Hold on, you forgot about Mars. Hold on, hold on. You forgot about Mars. Mars, how you going to get Mars? Mars started watching Steph Curry in 2015. No, Mars started watching Steph Curry. All right, my bad, my bad. I'll let Mars Mars started watching Player's Choice and got it. <laughs> when he was three years old. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I didn't even exist until I came and played Stray Right. I, right. I, I just spawned in. That's what happened. I just spawned in. But right. um, J- July 4th, 2016, KD joined Golden State. And that's when I started watching basketball. I was like, oh, wow. Super team. I like that. Team. <laughs> that that's the day I started watching basketball. So Seriously? No, be real. Be real for once. Are you are you being honest, Mars? No, no. For he once, be, no, he's not. Mars, be honest for a second. Like, How take off. The- wait, don't be a scumbag, Mars. So, wait, so, so, wait, so, he, so if that was true, you guys just wouldn't believe me. I wouldn't believe you. That's no. what I'm asking. I, 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 I don't think it's ridiculous because we all we all got into the game for different reasons. So. Yeah, I think he's being honest. If if if, if that's what happened be, in 2016, be, 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 being from the UK, Boston yeah. didn't really have much of a reach over here. Yeah. The only the only thing you saw really was some highlights occasionally. During that 2016 season, all you saw was Steph Curry everywhere. That he was the one that was really getting the game to come over to the UK. It wasn't mm-hmm. LeBron, it wasn't anything else. Then we find out like I was keeping up a little bit with the scores and stuff. Golden State lost the finals. Then I see Kevin Durant join Golden State. He, I know he's one of the three best players in the world. Steph Curry, one of the best players in the world. They teamed up. That's what, and then the next season I started watching basketball. And you started getting into it. All right, I can get July fourth, twenty sixteen. So you wasn't so you wasn't serious about it up until that point. Once you once that started, then you got serious about it and started watching it more. All right, I can get with that. 
Chill Town, you were ever heard of Terry Davis, the father of Ed Davis? Terry Davis. Father, the father Davis. Ed Davis played in Miami. Ed, Ed Davis, the guy who played, he was drafted by the Raptors, right? Ed Davis played for North Carolina. Played for yeah, with the University of North Carolina. Yeah. His father yeah. played. His father played ten years in the league. Over ten years in the league. You ain't never heard of his father, Terry Davis? Played for the Mavs. Played for with Jay Kidd mm-hmm. in the Mavs. Played for the. I remember um, him. Miami Heat. That's mm-hmm. who made me. That's who made me into this monster. Every mm-hmm. day I went to the gym, I saw this big 6'10", 270 pound dude saying, "I'm gonna whoop your ass if you don't dunk the ball." Every day. Body I did, I did played on the Lakers for a minute too. Yeah, I, I, look yeah. at him. He had a solid career. No, I, don't, I, I don't have to. I, I know. Yeah, Big I mean, Terry made me into who I am. He the one that pushed me. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to um, uh, Anthony Peeler too. Anthony Peeler pushed me every day in the gym too for like almost two or three straight summers, man. AP, love I love Anthony you. Peeler. Where you at? Love, love Anthony you. Peeler. No doubt about that. Love Anthony. AP, Peeler. you be like ticket, man. Come on, man. Come get this work, man. Boom. He he be waiting for me in the gym every single day. I love you, AP. Shout out, Pillar. All right, y'all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and transition into, well, kind of the title of the show. I uh, want to project some off-season moves. want to hear from everybody on some moves you would like to see or some moves that you think are going to actually happen, whether it's a trade or whether it's a free agent signing. want to go around the room and just hear a couple. Uh, Fluent, I want to start with you. What's, what's a, a possible signing or a trade that you could see happening? Uh, Bradley Beal will not be uh, a wizard um, come the start of the season. I hope not. He will not be a wizard. Mm-hmm. I, 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 hope I have a feeling. I have a feeling. It's going to be a team we haven't talked about yet. So mm-hmm. let me mm-hmm. think. What are the What are the rumored ones? And then I'll tell you Miami. which one. Miami. Yeah, uh, they've not. said we'll, the Bucks we'll too. They said Miami. They said the Bucks. And it's one we'll more. The team. Knicks. Miami, Don't the Bucks, the Knicks, and the Lakers. Yeah, I, I, I see. I was thinking the Knicks, but okay. Let me get. Let me give you another one. The Trailblazers. Oh God! But he doesn't move the needle, though. He does not. Some, no one. Be, no one. A weird one. It's gonna be a weird one. I think my first thing is the Knicks. Is the Knicks, but Trailblazers Yo, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be surprised. Ticket, with you saying that about the Trailblazers, that's why I keep saying they have to come off Dame. If no, you if you're talking game. about every no, scenario, then it, 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 it just doesn't move the needle. No, it's not about, would, it's yeah. one that moves the needle, though. It's not about Dame, though. It's one that Ooh. moves the needle. For, for the Blazers? Yes. If he Brandon Ingram. It's one, no, it's one that moves the needle if he can stay healthy, uh, and that is tank ass. Uh, I got one. If, if, if they trade the number three pick? That's the one dude, if he stays healthy, he can move the needle because Zion's a 26, 27 point per game guy. And they, they can't trade for Zion, no ticket. Until Zion can prove he can play at least 55 uh, games. Bob, Bob, we mm-hmm. got to ask ourselves this one question, too. I, mm-hmm. I personally think Zion has quit on, on the Pelicans because he wants to be moved. I can see that. Yeah, we that's a that. bad way. That's a bad way to do it. Who's, who's yeah, going yeah, yeah. to come, come get you if you can't show, show the truth? A lot of teams. Court? A lot, a, lot Knicks, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of a lot of idiots. Look, I'm like this. If I'm Zion, I'm like, look, if you if you dumb enough to trade for me, I don't want to play for you. What? <laughs> if you Wait, for real, if you, if you oh, dumb if you oh. dumb enough to take me on and not and I can't I can't play 25 games, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you're, you're an idiot. Don't trade for me. How how many how many super talented players with that much talent have a hard time finding a team? Mm. They Zero. don't because there's a lot None. of idiots running a lot of teams. Well, so Hey, there's, you know, there's a full born, born every day, Fluent. Yeah, every minute. Every second, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, some, somebody going to do it, but I'm I'm not trading for Zion until I... The well, saying is... Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't do it. But I, now, now, don't get me wrong. Like, next next offseason, if Zion plays 50 games, if Zion plays 50 games this year, next season, if he's on the market, um, what you want? No, he's, he's, he's going somewhere and he's going to play because he's going to tell you, you know how expensive diapers are? You got like three kids, four oh, kids. Oh man! <laughs> Yo. Not fun. I know diapers ain't no joke, but that's a fact. <laughs> hey, diapers ain't no joke. You know, all my kids, all my kids, real close together. All my kids, all my kids was. I had, I had three, in, I had three in diapers at the same time. So, mm. Yo, chill. I, I would like to hear from you in terms of an uh, offseason move that you are projecting that's going to happen. I think a young team gets raided. I think that Orlando Magic team gets raided. I think that really? I, really? I think I think Bobo. I think not 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 <laughs> Wagner, I, I, not, not Wagner, but I think Bobo. I think Markel folks look for one of those guys on that team to end up on a contender, 
and be a contributor. Mm. And the reason why is mm. because those guys are cheap. Not only are they cheap, they got a really good upside. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Boston Celtics picked up the phone and asked about and inquired about Bowl Bowl, if Phoenix picked up the phone and asked about Bowl Bowl. So I, I expect one of I expect one of these young teams and the young talent that they have to get rated. I can mm. see that. Yo, I'm high on Bobo, man. No Bobo disrespect, man. Well, a lot of people. Uh, uh, I, I, just, I literally just had a conversation yesterday that a, that a buddy of mine he sees he thinks he thinks Wemba and Bobo are almost the same guy. And I'm thinking to myself, no, I'm not going to go that yeah, far. That's no. why Wemba's a bust. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not going to I'm not going to go that far. But Bobo is a lot better than what I thought he was. This is the same dude that's high on Mo Bamba, man. Come on, come on, Donald, man. What? You heard what I said. You were high on Mo Bamba, bro. I like oh, him as a backup center. I, 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 I don't like man. him as any That's center. It. He don't. Okay. I, he's sure. garbage, bro. I like him over James Wiseman. I like him over James Wiseman. I like him over Rui at the five. I don't know. Hey, that, hey, hey okay. Mars, who you got? Wiseman or Bobo? Bobo. Easily Bobo. <laughs> I mean, you can say Wiseman or anyone. I'm gonna. I'm going Wiseman, man. Anyway. I'm taking. I'm taking the. Mars, you're gonna be. Wiseman. Mars, you're gonna be wrong about Wiseman. Gonna be I do. Wrong I, 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 if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong about, I, I believe you're gonna be wrong about Wiseman. The, 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 the thing is, I, do. I don't. I I don't think Wiseman can never be good. I'm right. just saying, as of now and his whole right. career, he's been terrible. Okay, so what's more realistic, Mars? What's, sure. what's more realistic? Wiseman is a starting center in this league, or he's joining us on the panel. Mm. <laughs> Hey, hold, hold on, well, Fluent, hold on, hold on, Fluent. You're gonna have to watch that because look what just happened with Monty Williams and Old Boy in I Phoenix. I mean, full time. I mean, full time. Look what happened to Monty Williams and the Big Boy in Phoenix. So oh, I don't yeah. know if Monty Williams is great with bigs like that. If if nah, he, he treats, he's, 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 he's gonna be good with he's gonna be good with Jalen Duran. No, James Wiseman. James See. Wiseman, ship him out. Send 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 right. James Wiseman to like Orlando for Bull Bull. The, the UK Lions. He could go to uh, he could go to Washington. You talking about James? Yeah, James Wiseman. You can go to Washington. Oh. Like start over Daniel Gafford, maybe back up Daniel Gafford. Back up Daniel Gafford, man. Yeah. Come on, Porzingis. Now Porzingis, Porzingis is going to go to state. I already said that. That's the. Oh right, 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 right. They start no. They start Nova in Washington. Oh, no, 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 what, no, what do I feel like? They're running the back. Why do I feel like, like Cat is going to be a oh, Golden State? They just said it. Hey, they just, I just said it before today. I said it in the private chat. That'll be crazy. They said they're running. They said they have confident. They said they're going to move to Kuminga. They said they're confident that they can run it back with, with uh, Poole and, and, um, and Draymond. I think they uh, have. I don't, I don't know why. Go, I get go, this. Go, go I get this so go, go There's no, so. nothing to this. This is strictly a gut. I, I feel like Cat's going to be in Golden State. Yep. Yep. I'm telling I you, I don't know why. They, don't need know. To trade, they need to trade Steph immediately if that happens. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Cat, Cat actually fits in the Golden State. I just, I, I, I don't know why. Just it's... Cat, Cat Are we looking at another Andrew Wiggins, Wiggins situation if Cat is in Golden State? I think so. Yeah, Depending yeah, on the... yeah, no, yeah no. because listen, it, I, I, I would want so. Cat. I would want Cat if, I'm, if I got to play against Jokic all these years. And would you, would you move Pool? Would you move Pool and Kaminga for Cat? It's not who you want yeah, if you're going against Jokic. I would, I would, I would, I would move Cat, Kaminga, and whatever picks they got uh, for for Carl Anthony Towns. And, and, and I'm gonna say this. I'm, and I'm gonna say this. The reason why I say that, Mars, is because what we saw that Jokic didn't really have to do outside of a few times with Bam. Nobody really made him play defense. With Cat, at least he got to go out and respect Cat offensive game. Not saying Cat is great defensively. But you got to respect that part offensive in his offensive game. And Cat can rebound too. He's a plus 10 point 10 rebounder per game. He can shoot the three. He can bring him out on the floor on defenses. To me, that's what you got to be looking at right now. Like, how are we going to match up with the Denver Nuggets? Because if they run into Denver again with the team they got right now, they don't beat Denver, in my opinion, because Jokic, they don't have no Dr Draymond Green is not stop not doing anything to slow that dude down. I agree. Yeah, so you got, that's why you go, that's why you go get Porzingis. No, Porzingis is worse than uh than what you call it. Porzingis is Porzingis is no, worse. No, 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 <clears throat> no, I like Porzingis. Yeah, he yeah. yeah. On, on that team, team yeah. yes. On that team, team, yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah. agree with that. 
No, no, I, I like Cat. Thank you. I'm about to that's say. how the gut. That's why my gut's telling me that that that's where he ends up. For so I, again, no way in hell y'all like pushing over that dude, bro. Ta- uh, check it. We talking. We talking about a seven foot four, seven foot five dude stretches the defense, rebounds, run like a deer, right? And one thing about Porzingis protect that we know for a fact, not just protecting the rim. The one thing we know about him is he ain't soft. We he know that for soft. a fact. No, he is not. No, Porzingis is not. So uh, if, Porzingis, right. if Porzingis is soft, I need to know what Kai is. I'm about to say, yeah, Porzingis is soft. Very I, close yes, soft. No, oh, he is not. Ticket, that is not true. No way is I that true. No, like it, that is not true. When oh, I think, when, 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 when you, how many times have you seen Cat fold up more when no, the bets are on the line? Cool. When I, see, when I when I when I when I when I seen Porzingis, we had a fit problem when he was in Dallas. It had nothing to do with him being soft. He didn't know what his role was. What? They had him playing out of position. He was all over the place in Dallas. Is this man if he's in Go- if he's in Golden State, if he's in Golden State, it's something completely different. They know exactly what they're doing with him. Bro, are you crazy? Bro, him and Cat, they we ain't even and they ain't even in the same league. That's crazy, bro. I guess Yo, crazy. Uh, who would be a better fit for the Golden State Warriors? Christoph Porzingis or Carl Anthony Towns? Um, if they and they don't got Draymond, yeah, they no, got they got Draymond. They, 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 they let's pull let's, let's, and Kaminga, pool and Kaminga for pool and Kaminga for if they, if they still got Draymond and if they still got Draymond and they try, they, they're trying to win right now, I'll probably take Cat for real. Without 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 Draymond, I uh, you got to take KP, but no, but no, but with Draymond, though, no, I'll take Cat. I was about to say, if Cats on the Warriors, you need if if Draymond's not there, you need like a Pat Bev or a vet like that that's gonna put that battery in his back because I I think Cats one of the softest bigs in the league. But you don't need that with KP. That's the difference. And not only do you not need that, so with Draymond there, with with Draymond there, he makes that that battery that you're talking about. So instead Mm -hmm. of it being an A battery, it's a triple A battery. With 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 KP, because guys like guys like Draymond have a tendency to make you stick out your chest a little bit more. So mm. KP not being soft and with his game the way it is, we mm. already know how this dude is. So yeah, with Draymond, really that's gonna make him even tougher. KP, 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 KP not soft. KP not soft. You don't need no battery. KP not soft. Clay, Wiggins, Dre, and Cat. You don't like that lineup, bro? These dudes insane, fluent. I cannot believe they saying that this, that KP ain't soft. Especially going up against going up against. I don't think, I don't think KP. I'm trying to figure out. Where, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where you see Every KP. Be, I, I, I think bro. ticket ticket logic is coming solely from him being a Euro. That's it. That ain't no, got no, nothing. No, no, it's hell. No, no, I'm it's talking about. What about what about what about KP? Yeah, what about KP? He don't like con- he don't like contact. That's that's not true. That's not true. Ticket. Are we talking about soft? Are we talking about Carl Anthony Towns? <laughs> no, I'm saying hold on, tell me. But I said with Cat, I agree that Cat is soft too. But the difference with him they're both Kane, soft. Cat's more talented. That's more talented. No. That's, more talented. That's what more I'm soft. saying. I'm saying Cat is better than Chris that Porzingis. Which I, 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 I soft I'll, and Cat Cat marshmallow soup. If I told I, you two no, years I'm ago, if I, told, uh, if I told you two years ago, we'd be debating Cat versus Porzingis at who's better. <laughs> you would have said I was. Crazy. Yeah, crazy, <laughs> no, for no, real. Back, it's back, not that. Wild, it's it's wild, not wild, that cut and dry, though. It is, bro. Cat, bro. No, it's not. not. And the bro, reason why it's not that cut and dry is because we're not talking about up. cat going to Washington. We're no, not talking about you. cat in Atlanta. We're talking about cat, and we're talking about KP in a great system. Right. Hold on, cat shoots in Golden State. He shoots forty from the three. He's a great. That's way better than Chris Porzingis, and he's a great post up guy too. He got great post moves, so he can score both ways. So you can interchange him. Chris that Porzingis do not like playing inside. Nowhere close to the basket. I think, All I think, wanted- uh, and by the way, Chill, just as for the chat, I think you meant he goes from a triple A battery to like a C or D battery. Because That's what big. I meant to say. A, a bigger battery, not a triple A, to a, to yeah. a D battery. <laughs> yeah, I'm huge battery. Um, I don't you think KP, no, he ain't about to charge you much, though. When you said those young teams are going to get picked apart, I don't know that it's Orlando. I think it might be Memphis. You think Memphis? You don't think they're gonna blow it up? No. Hey, they might they, 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 they might because uh, the, the Bulls just announced now they're trying to trade Zach Levine right now, as we on here on Bleach Report. I just I think with all the stuff they had going on internally with Dylan Brooks, with Ja, with every I think they just they want to move. I think they want to maybe get a little bit fresher start. I think teams I think teams will go after them because they got nice pieces. Like Bain's a nice piece. Uh Adams is a nice 
piece for, for a contending team. To let Dylan Brooks walk out the front door, Dylan I don't Brooks know how good that is. To, 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 to let him walk out the front door. I think Dylan Brooks is a starter in the NBA. But Absolutely. to let him walk out the front door, I didn't think that was I smart at all. You let him walk, and Jaws going to be suspended for, what, 50, 60 games? So I just I, – Oh, season. That's the team I think is going to get picked apart. I don't think he's getting suspended for well, the whole yeah. season, yeah, but I, I do – I do think he's. I, I do think we're looking at. I do think we're looking at half the season. Yeah, it's at it's least significant. That's why they waited. Or that's why they're waiting. Mm-hmm. What's that? Right, uh, they should have yeah. dropped this yesterday. They wanted to wait. They want. Yeah, they wanted to wait for. I, they might actually wait until after the draft. I think they just. They don't want to take away from the finals. Yeah. The draft overshadow anything with the I mean, story. After, they're after, after the draft, you got summer league. So I mean, I think right now would ideally be the best league. time. You yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, summer league is you know really what? bad. I, I, you know what, Ron? If I were you, uh, if no I when when Benyama is going to be there. Who is not playing, by the way? He's not going to play. Yeah, play in the summer. I, what I would do right now is I, I would. Too, I agree oh, with you. So I when, agree. I said, when I said that a few days ago, Friday. I was right. I would drop the news of John Morant's Friday, let the weekend news cycle roll, and then start next week on here's all the draft stuff and try to get it out of the news cycle. That's what I would do. Um, I, but that wouldn't be a good idea seeing how Brandon Miller's in this draft and you got oh, situations with Ja and you go into the draft and then Brandon Miller is just going mm. it, to spiral. So I think they should wait till at least after the draft, let that stuff die down, and then come with the John news before the summer league. I feel like that. Uh, yeah, but Ron brought up the summer league too. I don't think they want to. Do you, do you want that hanging? Over the summer league, I, 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 I don't. I, I don't I, think I the summer league is. I mean, I don't think the summer league with with Victor not playing. I mean, you're looking forward you, you to still got like school, school, you Brandon still got Miller twins. Yeah, you still you're got, still seeing you, him play. I don't think that is the summer league news cycle that crazy. I don't think the summer league news cycle is that it's, crazy. It's, it's, it's no, starting. It but that's I mean, what I'm we, saying. We it's about to, we about to be talking about it like crazy for in the NBA in the NBA. No, in the NBA circle, it's people people follow the. But that's when that's the bigger story. What's the bigger story, Jaws suspension or Summer League? It's Jaws, the Jaws suspension. It, it, that, that's, well, that's, that's what the mainstream thing. is going to cover. It, the they, mainstream was, they, they was just the talking draft. about it overshadowing the NBA draft. finals. So it's right. going to overshadow any. I, I disagree. Yeah, I think Summer League is when Bayama's playing. He's, he's, not, no, playing, he's not playing. He's not playing. That's when the problem. Not he's not playing, though. And to, 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 to Tone's point, I mean, like a lot of bombshells have gotten dropped in the summertime. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Kawhi Leonard was traded during the Summer League. Yeah. That was a big deal. It completely overshadowed what we was talking about. And Zion was playing in the summer league. I just, I feel if I'm, that, that, I'm I sorry, that was the year before. If I'm Memphis, and if I feel if I'm Memphis, I'm telling him, can we find out now? Because what you do with Ja is going to dictate what we do, maybe in the draft, the draft. Yeah. in our trades, in our all those right. things. So, yeah. Why is it Wemby playing? Why is that's a good question, Mars? That's a damn good question. Because he seen what happened to Chet last year. Very soft. Give me a break, yo. That was that was that was the NBA summer league. No, 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 no. Even if it wasn't the NBA summer league, what happened to Chet, Damo? That could have happened in training camp in the first week. That could have happened in a pickup game in the summertime. That could have happened in the first month of the season. That could have happened at any time. I'm sick of these dudes being let off the hook. If you think you're gonna get hurt, then you're gonna get hurt. There's no reason why these dudes shouldn't be playing. It should be. He needs to play. He's just 19 years old. He's 19 years old. All he needs to have his young ass on the court learning how to play basketball. He knows how to play basketball. Well, does he at the pro level? Wait, let me ask. Not at the NBA level. Because I'm forgetting. Did Luca play in the summer league? That's another one. All of these dudes, Damo. Don't 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 stop with him. No, no, I'm asking. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think Luca. I think Luca played in maybe a couple of games in the summer. I don't think he played much, but I do think he did Only play thing, in the summer league. I, I said this before Vic came out and said he's not playing. I said I would be fine with him not playing if he plays one game. And that is if they set up to where his first game is against a guy like Chet, I would want to see that matchup. If it's like an actual touted big, that's a young big to play, if it's a matchup, I would want to see that. Other than that, I do not care about him going out there you and playing from a, you talk, you talk, little cousin. I you talk, you I talking about care. it from a, from a standpoint, a, 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 a fan point of view, though, bro. Like that's like that's you talking about what, what I want to see right now. I'm talking, I'm talking about, I'm talking he's, about. He's about what, play, yes, what, he's what, playing should, pro should he be playing right basketball. Now. He's still playing professional basketball in his league, and that's why I brought up Luca. Luca came. Guys coming from overseas, they're playing deeper into the season. Yeah, than so he's playing, he's playing pro right now, and he's going to play in the World Cup, right? 
I believe so, yeah. I think he's going to represent the country. Need summer. Well, he, he doesn't, doesn't need, need to play. I think he's got, well, well, when you put it like that, if he's going to play in the World Cup. Yeah, then he doesn't then need it. He doesn't need it. If he wasn't doing any of that stuff, then yes, I would. I, I just – that, that's what, why what, I asked why he wasn't playing because I didn't know the reason. Right. That's so the reason, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't the know reason. about the World Cup. The I'm reason. cool with that. But when you got these other guys that have that come into the league – especially the Americans that come into the league and they don't play in the summer league. This is when we get better. This is when your game gets better. I don't, I don't buy the logic of, yo, he could get hurt. That's the same thing I hear in the all-star game. Where is the actual pride and the, the, the anticipation of this is what you have to look forward to coming this season. This is what I'm going to be doing. If I'm working these young dudes over, I don't know what the pros are going to look like. I don't know what I'm going to look like against Paul George or, or Jason Kyle. I don't know what I'm going to look like against them. But you dudes are toast. Not none of you dudes out here can see me. None of y'all. Which which guy? Which American guy? Like came up through the college and whatever it was. Which guy didn't play? Bonchero, Jalen Green. I thought pa didn't Paolo no, not play played. this game. Paolo no, played. played. Jalen Green played. They, 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 they played. Played all, they the all games, played. But they played a game. That's why I said a, a game. game. Why did Paolo need to play though? He has a grown Eight. man body. He is built for. He came into the league looking like a, a three. But even even player. even if you even if I do even if I do look like that, that doesn't mean that I can't get reps. That doesn't mean that I can't be on the floor understanding a pro game. That doesn't Why? mean that I can't do that. Because when you talk about basketball players, when you talk, when you talk about basketball players, the the difference between being average and being elite. This is how thin the line is, and it's confidence. So if I'm going to go from playing, Damo. I don't need every – if it's a guy that is undoubtedly more talented than everyone on the court – We don't, don't care about the talent, though, Damo. It's like a rite of passage. That's what you do. You get a drafted. Right you play summer league. You start at your so – because I'm, so, so because I'm nicer than you, I shouldn't even be on the floor. And meanwhile, yes, we have you guys – shouldn't be on the floor with guys Why should not be on the floor? Even though we've had guys – Guys that are not going to play – Does, that, does this only apply to the summer league or is it the NBA as well? Like KD just doesn't need to play against the Indiana Pacers. just better than everyone. Well, that's what I'm saying because – these guys getting paid to play in the summer league? They're under contract, yes. I'm sure something. Yes, they're under contract. Yes. You, you, it's you just signed you know, you know, a multi-million dollar I mean, bonus. Yes, you're yes. getting yes. paid to play in the summer league. Yes. 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 If, if it's a guy that's hey, under if it's Apollo, if it's Apollo, and I'm again, I'm asking because I genuinely didn't know. If it's Apollo, if it's a Zion, if it's a Vic, if it's a guy that's undoubtedly better than everybody, me personally, I, I don't need to see him play. I don't get what we're trying to – I understand it's a rite of passage. I understand a tradition. I, I understand that. I guess. Cool. But if it's a guy that doesn't care about the tradition, if it's a guy that doesn't care about the rite of passage, I don't care if he don't play. Now, if you're a second-round pick and you're talking about some, nah, I'm not playing in the summer league, all right, bro, you got to kind of earn your spot. You're still trying to earn your stripes. If you're the number one pick, I don't think you need to play in the summer league. It just Damo, doesn't make sense. What, my, my, I, my I think that's it. just the sense of entitlement. If you're a number one pick, I mean, you, you're still a rookie. You still go through the duties that every other rookie before you's gone through. I don't just like got the job, yo. Oh, just just because you got picked number one, I guess. Oh, I guess all the Jaylen stuff Green that everyone else has gone through. Jalen Green came out and said he didn't go through any of the experiences rookie. Yeah, he was giving other rookies rookie duties as a rookie. So yeah, and, that's that's and that would explain why that Houston and that would explain why that chill out, chill out, chill out. Yeah, that would explain why that Houston team is what it is. Yeah, that team is. That would explain it. As of right now, well, as but, of then, now okay, it might be so different. You guys, you guys, you guys are just my team. You guys need to do that. But. Real quick, it, though, it, I do what difference do it make, Mars? You're gonna be, you're gonna be with you're Oklahoma City in two years year anyway. anyway. Yeah. So I'm, what going, do I'm going with Jalen Green. Right. Once so, Jalen Green gets traded, you are gonna jump ship. So. Right. You, 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 Can you I gonna be in Phoenix in two years? Can I go ahead, Dama? You got it. You got it. Preseason prediction? Well, not preseason prediction, but the offseason moves and thing like that. Hold on, before before you hold on, hold that thought before you get into it because I I do want to ask: Is it is it set in stone that Victor's not playing, or are those? It just was rumors? reported. It was, I mean, was reported that he wasn't playing. It was reported that he wasn't playing. Anything okay, can so change. He was right playing now. to say it, he can change his mind. He can obviously see the backlash and be like, "Well, f it, I'll ball out and give y'all fifty five. It's fine." But well, he, as of right now, he's reported to not play. Because here's also we're my thing to that play. too. We were just talking about Houston, and you know, maybe they don't have the best organization. They might have a poorly ran organization, but. What I'm saying, though, is we're talking about the, the San Antonio Spurs. We're talking about Greg mm -hmm. Popovich. It's a lot of tradition over there. So mm -hmm. just because it was rumored, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's not going to play. I could see Pop being the type of guy where it's like, no, we want you to play. We want to, we want to integrate you into the system. What? The inventor of load management? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Started it. Hey, nah, you sitting down, dog. I ain't, you're not playing right now. I'm going to say, I can see Pop being like, we don't need you to play. You're our best player. I don't. We don't need you to play. They will, he um, will be in the gym working out, though. 
Yeah, a lot of said that doesn't mean he's not doing anything. People are calling me an LA fitness merchant. I'm being lazy with a lazy mind. That doesn't mean he's not about to be working out, working with the team, getting reps any other way. I'm just saying so, I don't need him playing against the third tier, third tier players and guys that aren't going to be in the NBA. We're if, trying if to doing that, but 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 but, but yeah, I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to in the league. Like, and I'm going to do. Like, I'm and I'm going to do that in training camp. I'm going to do that with the free agent that's coming into training camp who probably won't make the roster. I'm going to go against them. I'm going to go against the second round guy in training camp. So why don't I get these reps in the summer league to again? When I was mentioning before, Damo, the thin line between mm-hmm. being elite and being average is confidence. And if I'm playing in the summer league and my peers, these guys that I'm coming up with, as because I haven't seen what Paul George looks like yet. I don't know what KD looked like. I don't know what mm-hmm. Cat looked like. But if I'm going up against my peers and I'm kicking ass against these dudes, mm-hmm. moving forward, I'm thinking to myself, all right, by, by the time training camp open up, I'll be ready to go. But the, problem you, you with logic, though, the problem with that logic, though, is how many people have we seen come into summer league and ball out and then they get into the regular season and <laughs> – like How many? We see that all the time. We see that hey, all hey, the time. Hey, Fluent, let me ask you a question. Yeah, all the time. Do, do y'all think? Do y'all think that Wimby goes to Pop and Pop dumbs his game down? Like Pop takes him down a, a notch. No. Like for example, I think Tim Duncan won all the championships he won, but I think that Pop is his style dumb Tim Duncan's game down. Like I, th- I think if Tim Duncan would have went to Orlando, you would have seen him go crazy uh, as far as his numbers, all his statistics, everything like that. And he probably still would have won. But his I think, I think I think if you're asking, does Pop put his players in the in the best situation to succeed? No, I ain't saying I that. No, I'm yeah, saying probably. that individual. For example, I'm saying if Wimby was to go to a different organization where they're gonna we're gonna put the ball in your hands and let you rock out, sort of like what Cleveland did with LeBron when he came in the league, right? But you go to a guy like Pop, do you think that Pop is gonna kind of try to dumb him down and not let him just go, or you think Pop is gonna say, "Look, duh, just go do what you do." Basically, what basically what Tick is saying is, is he going to turn him loose? That's basically what Tick is saying. I think, I, I think he's going to make him play winning basketball. All yeah. these step back threes from yeah. a seven five guy look cool, but that's not winning basketball. He doesn't even make them well enough. But that's what make him special. What I'm saying. No, the talent makes him special. The ability he has to make them is cool. But Pop's going to be like, okay, listen, you're seven five. You're best around the rim. The fact that you can shoot is an extra layer to your game, and we're going to try and develop that. But I don't want you coming up. Tween, tween, crossover, step back three, four times a game. You don't need that. That's what I think he's going to do. And I think that's just common sense. And, and that's not like, the, high, and the highlights are cool, but that's yeah. just not winning. Didn't they, Dun- didn't they say Duncan's going to come in anyways and, and help work with him? So I think you're yes, going to see that. Mm-hmm. play like, not like you know, Tim Duncan, but I think you're going to see a lot of those tendencies that maybe Duncan had where it was simple but fundamentally sound. And I also I, think. Ahead, Dom, big, I was about to say, too, I just feel like, again, I'm going back to the Luka point where Luka didn't play. One, guys are playing deep into – he's playing deeper into the season over there, playing right. uh, playing world basketball, stuff like that. Also, these are guys that grew up playing pro basketball longer than guys in America. They've been playing grown men, playing different levels of competition for a lot longer. You don't feel right. like his confidence can just be – he's comfortable with his game. He doesn't need to be playing against guys that, again, he's going to have to see in training camp anyway, guys that are fighting for two-way contracts, fighting for roster spots. If he's been playing with guys that came over from uh, former NBA players or whatever kind of competition he's been playing, he right. would already have some level of confidence to go against this level. People are talking about adjusting to the speed. We've heard a plethora of guys that came over or went from here over there say – yeah, the speed the, the speed is not that hard to adjust to from the Euro League to the NBA right. versus going from college, even the G League, which I still feel like <clears> it's a small it, it's a bit of a difference, but the G League or OT, something like that, they don't have to adjust as crazy to the speed. Now again, it's about his body, his um how frail he looks, cool. The speed no, but, adjusting but again, to the game, I don't think that's something he has to worry about. No, I don't think well, I think you're I don't think he has to adjust to that, but it's it's a matter of and again, this is why he's not playing, right? Because he's playing pro and then he's gonna play in the World Cup. But for those mm-hmm. that don't have that, it's it's about getting a run, it's about working on your skills, yeah. it's about working on things. And if you're you know, if you have the option of summer league or like the Drew League, right, where you're playing up against accountants and lawyers, no, you mm-hmm. should play summer league where at least it's guys who are fighting for NBA roster spots, not guys who are you know just trying to tell their girl, yo, I played up against Wemba this summer, right? Like, so I, that's where I think summer league becomes important again. But for a guy like Wemba, like, again, World Cup, he's already playing pro, still playing. It's not needed if he wants to, cool. But I don't, I, I agree I don't with you. I don't think it's needed. 
Yeah. But Yo, someone, someone in the chat brought up Jeremy Sochan well, didn't play in the um summer league. That's unacceptable. I don't yeah, yeah. Hey, no, I don't like that. that. I'm I'm chat, that. Respect, the the respect the UK spiders. Respect the UK spiders. He doesn't play. He doesn't play. You asked about guys from Waldo in the summer league that didn't pan on the NBA. Randy Foy was the MVP of the summer league. Someone in the chat said. Well, I want to say something. You and chill. So what I was saying about with Wimby, I want y'all to think about this. Like what I was saying, because Mars said something, but I want y'all to think about this. Like when I said, like when LeBron went to the Cavs and the Cavs just put the franchise in his hand and let him be him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do y'all, what do y'all think would have happened to LeBron if he would have went to Pop, or it, like in his career, if Pop would have been his first coach? Like, what, what do you think? Do you think that Pop would have just let him have the reins and let him be him, or like, that, that, see, that's what I'm trying he, to say. He, with Wendy, yeah, like, LeBron wouldn't have been the system; he would have played in a system, and he probably ends up winning a lot more. Do you still look at him as being no, no, great? No, 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 no. I, I think he'd have no, been no, better. No, 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 I know, I know what Ticket's talking about. With, with, on, miss my question. No, I, I know, I know what Ticket's talking about. My question is this: Would he have just but turned him LeBron loose, James gave him the basketball, and turned him loose? Played in that system and still been effective. So what I'm saying about Wimby is, if if Popovich takes what makes Wimby great right now and right. says we're going to put you into a box, into a system, can Wimby still? achieve what he needs to achieve throughout his career and to, to right. what made him the, the all-time prospect he is if you don't let him be in because like like me I don't feel like like LeBron James would have I, I feel like his stats would have been a lot lower and uh, as far as points and stuff like that maybe his assists would have been higher but mm-hmm. I think his numbers would have been a lot lower if he would have played for pop minutes would have been a lot lower well, play, I, don't, I, I, don't, I, I do I, 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 I do and the reason why I understand what ticket what tickets logic is you got to understand the difference, though, Ticket. The, t- the difference is that LeBron James is getting on a championship unit when he gets on that team. Wemba is coming on a team who had the worst record or the second worst record in the league. So he's going to be the system. They're going to build it around him. They're going to have every. They're going to have the offense. They're going to have the defense tailored around his skill set. No, James wait. is getting. James is getting on a crew that's already a, that's no, no, already I'm been with, established. Oh. So you, with, with, with that being said, he's got to get woven into what they're doing no, 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 as I'm opposed to Wimbo. Saying, bro, I'm with you. I'm saying, is he going li- to – listen, I'm saying for example. You, you said way say lower numbers. Say, I, 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 don't th- I don't think so. They allowed they allowed a guy like Kawhi who had to develop, and once he did a develop, he was putting up numbers. Hey, no, 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 so I think – let me answer your question. So – does he have way lower numbers? No. I th- are his numbers a little bit lower? Maybe points are a little bit lower, but I think you see more rebounds. I think you see more assists. No, and no, more I'm saying, no, I'm saying that, but I'm he saying wins a lot that, more. So I don't that, think his statistics are, are that different. No, I'm saying, okay, Fluent, for example, like, let's, he's say also you're probably let's say you're a guard. Let's say you're a guard. Up, right? He's a better shooter. Like, I think he, get, he gets the, the advantages of that, too. You got to add those in, not just the, the negatives. Fluent, let's say you're a guard and you sort of play like uh, – a certain style. That's that's what makes you great. It's how, your style, how you play. Sure. Now you come to a dude like Pop who's seasoned, who got all this other stuff, and he wants to kind of put you into, mold you into how we play over here, which ain't a problem. It's a championship way, but it might not fit your game. What I'm saying to you is that don't, don't you think that that could have a, a, a an effect on how we see him uh, or how his career pans out? Because, like, for example, if he goes to a team and they say, look, we're going we're gonna to put the franchise in your hands and we're going to let you play with what you got got you here. We're going to let you do that. And we also going to help develop more things. I don't see Pop doing that. I see Pop saying, look, you're great, but this is what you need to do to win. And we're going to do this, right? So what I'm saying to you is that, okay, maybe along the lines of they get him more talent, he wins. But I'm saying if it goes wrong, we looking at his whole career differently because maybe if he went with a different franchise to where they let him rock out, maybe we see a whole different type of player. You see what I'm saying? I, I, think, so, I think players that are I think players that are that talented, that what they do will come out. Right? out. Like we had a guy, we had a guy in Steph Curry who was trying to be turned into That's a traditional point guard by Mark Jackson, and eventually even Mark Jackson was like, you know what? This is wrong. You're, you're, I need to let you just go nuts I'll and shoot. And he does, and it becomes. To who he becomes. Yeah. LeBron James in Cleveland. If you remember, go back to that 07 finals. What was uh, Mike Brown asking him to do? Post up. You got a smaller Bruce uh, Bowen on you. Post him up. But he couldn't post up, and it made him worse than he was because they were trying mm-hmm. to make him do something that he wasn't good at doing. So I think Pop is a smart enough coach that, yes, he might say, here's our system, here's our base, but he would eventually see, this kid is way too talented, way too athletic. I need to put him into positions to succeed, and he would adjust. I still think it's a better system because he's a better coach, 
um, and you and you'll see what he actually can do. You can't have that person in a box for too long before they burst out of it. And we've seen it so many times. So no, I don't I don't think he's he gets stuck and he we look at him poorly. Yo, Damo. Oh, um what we're gonna get back to the initial topic. Mm-hmm. Uh wanna know some off season moves, trades, free agent signings, or anything that you can see happening. Ox and Mars, I'll be coming to you next. And then you um, take it. I, I'm gonna go with the trend of Young teams that might get poached or give some guys up. I think it might be the Pistons. Uh, they got three talented bigs on that team, and I don't think they're going to hold on to them at least up until the trade deadline. I don't know if it, man, I'm trying to see if I don't Wiseman think I'm Stewart. You think it's Wiseman? I think it's, a, I think it's big Wiseman. Too. Wiseman's top five <laughs> center in the league. Mars. I know Durant's staying. Uh, Jalen's going to stay. Jalen's their guy. That's the that's the best center they got. That he's their guy. Um, I don't know if they're gonna have either use Wiseman to just get the best available talent or use his um value to get some other pieces back, or if they're gonna move on from Beef Stew and have Wiseman back up, Jalen. I don't know, but I feel like it's definitely gonna be a big from uh Detroit that gets moved. I feel like uh also in terms of free agency, I feel like Grant's gonna go somewhere and play some impact, uh, impactful basketball, a la how Aaron Gordon did. Um, Aaron Gordon got traded somewhere, was able to pack him. And get a championship. I think Grant's going to move somewhere. He's an unrestricted free agent. Freedom to go wherever he wants. I don't know if he's going to take less money to go there. He spent the last couple years, well, last couple years on that uh, prove it deal that he earned, earned every bit of it. Went in and said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these other teams where I'm trying to contribute. Show I'm worth this money." He got that money. Now it's time to play some meaningful basketball again. I feel like he'll go somewhere and try to contribute. Another guy I want to see up. I definitely want to see the Lakers sign and trade D'Lo. Don't need to see D'Lo in the Laker jersey. That, that's <laughs> without a doubt. Um, I feel like you, you have first. what's what, what's possible destinations for D'Lo that you could see realistic yeah. trades. Don't say don't don't do what Ox does and say, oh, we're gonna get Jalen Brown for for this person. No, what's what's a realistic trade for D'Lo that you see you can see? I, I was D-Lo. realistic though, man. But you'll say Malik say Monk that. for him. <laughs> that that be my thing. You'll be like, D-Lo oh, we'll I would never, I would never, I would never say Malik Monk. You've never heard me say that. D'Lo signing. All right, you'll you'll say something like Rashawn Holmes and super realistic. And, and Kyle Herter, and we could, we could get Jalen Brown. No, they'll do that. We'll give him a big. Like, See, Damo likes Dom, I made Damo trade. He accepted it already. I do like that one. D'Lo signed a trade for Fred Van Fleet. That feels super realistic. Um, it, it, either that, that – I feel like it feels, it feels a little more realistic than – it's Phil. Let me not say realistic. I like that better than getting the guy. Nah, I'm not gonna say that because he's not better. I know than you like it, but but do they I like it? I know the, you the, like it. Fr- Fr- hey, Fred's gonna try. Well, with the, with the um Raptors trying to move um other guys anyway, if they they know they're about to so pause. So pause. Oh. <laughs> so the new coach, the new coach. Now listen, the new coach might not be on the same page as the GM and Masai, Bobby Webster and Masai. But the new coach came out and said, "I really like Fred's leadership." Trent's shooting and Jakob Pirtel in the post, it would be ideal if we brought all those guys back. So I don't know if he's just playing like possum and they're going to make because I thought they were going to trade everybody except for Scotty Barnes. And now it's like he wants the same roster back. Wait, Oy. did that come out after they said that they, um, it just came out yesterday. It just, they just announced, obviously, Dar- uh, Darko. Oh, you broke you, you broke up with Homegirl, just so you know. Like, she might have been whack with you, she might not be whack with me. I'm to I might be able to fix her up. Right, I don't know how much Nick talk about D-Lo? I no matter how much Nick you put on a pig, it's still a pig. <laughs> um, I will also say uh, Karis LeVert's armor shift to free agent. I don't know if he goes mm. back to Cleveland. I see him moving somewhere and playing some impactful basketball. Same mm-hmm. thing with Christian Wood. Christian Wood's all the same thing. I don't know if he resigns with the Mavericks, seeing how they're moving because they got a free – I don't know what their cap situation looks like. I'm not going to act like I'm just this – basketball savant that knows everybody's books so call me a right. casual i don't know what the tax is looking like for them i don't know what their books is looking like casual, yeah. Nobody um, books. I, i'm Nobody. pretty sure they might they might move off of christian wood they might not want to pay him so look for him to go somewhere and play some medium meaningful basketball again i'm assuming these guys want to play meaningful basketball of course some guy can come out and be like you know what i just want a bag i'm going to indiana so that's always a possibility as well but i think a lot of these guys want to play some meaningful basketball excuse me okay okay ox how you feeling about about potential moves this offseason. Just tell us who just tell us who Sacramento's getting for a bag of, <laughs> <laughs> of donuts. Nah, sa- nah, we want to be Sacramento's beat reporter. No, nah, we just gonna we just gonna get better. We're just waiting for uh, Keegan Murray to get better. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna All stick right. it out and, and just get better uh development. You know, Keegan Murray will be there. And but we might could grab uh Christoph Porzingis. But I don't want to talk about the Kings. I want I really want to talk about the, the Trailblazers really. 
Mm. You know, I, I want I want to be I want to be a season ticket holder up here, but I can't do it under these circumstances. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I really I really like what I saw about um, Brandon Ingram. I would like to see Brandon, Brandon Ingram with Dame. Um, I don't know what else, and, but and that's for Scoop for that for that whatever that, that third pick. is, yeah, whatever that third yeah. pick is. I need more. I'm gonna need more than than Bi. More, more, more than Scoot. Oh, who? Uh, just uh, New Orleans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they can. I mean, Yusuf. That's what I'm saying. They they could kind of rebuild with like the role players like Nurkic. You know what I'm saying? Nurkic is always hurt. Um, I, I, Jackson Hayes isn't, isn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. But maybe if they I thought he was of, gonna be better. I did. Yeah. I that that off the court stuff is really was killing him in my opinion. yeah. But that maybe maybe if they maybe they send Nurkic and some other Nazir Little, some other guys. I don't know. Get them down there to New Orleans and. Um, get Jackson Hayes back with the uh, with Brandon or Jackson Hayes with Ingram, just another young athletic big. Uh, I really like the firepower with Bi and um, and Dan Lillard though. I like I in like that, that duo. In that trade, do you think they have to give up Anthony, or do you think Anthony? No, nah, if if they have to give up Anthony, then they, then don't do it. I would I, I wouldn't do it. I would like to keep. But, but if you're any other like team, if you're any other team, isn't that what you're asking for? Well, no, because I mean, Scoop. A lot of people think school's gonna be generational. So I mean they, they might be higher on school than they are on anybody that I'm so you're talking thinking, about. Give us give us if Scoot's still there at three, give us Scoot and Nurkic for whatever. You think that's enough? School Nurkic for BI? I mean BI he, he didn't play through a toe contusion, remember? So you know. yeah, and, and and they're saying that the Pelicans are like adamant about getting school. Like they yeah, believe that school is their next basically peace their next cornerstone if you will that's that's what i'm saying fluent I, th- I think they're real high on school so i think they value school more i don't I, I wouldn't because i don't know what he's gonna do in the nba but some way somehow i think portland that's the only way i, I think portland needs to make something happen or just get off a dame and start over but i, I would like to see portland and uh and bi i mean dame dame and bi bi play together though Okay, and you you think that that can make some noise? You think that they can make a make a good run if Anthony's still there? Let's say Anthony's still there. You yeah, got they Anthony, got Anthony, Anthony, Shannon Sharp. They got uh, Dame. They got um, Bi. And obviously, and, oh, but what do do that? And I mean, that, if they, that if they can keep, not, if they can keep, that team does not scare me if I'm the West. If they, if they can no. keep, if they can keep, uh, my uh, my guy, uh, Jeremy Grant. You know what I'm saying? He got to slide back. Know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they can make that work, but if they can, well, I, I like that team. I'm not saying they're uh, they're gonna win the championship, but I like the team. Mm-hmm. Got you, got you. And I want to ask a collective question. So let's let's say you're the Pelicans, and you're for sure getting scooped, and you know that you're getting scooped, and you know that we're trading him to New Orleans. As New Orleans, who are you more? Um, who who would you rather keep, Zion or Brandon Ingram? B.I. B.I. Zion. In terms of talent, Zion, but B.I. wants to be there, so I would have to say B.I. In terms of talent. Does he want to be there? Does, does I, wait, I, that I didn't know. Does does B.I. make it, he made it public he wants to it, be there? Well, it seemed, well, let me say, by his actions, he seems like he would want to be there more than Zion. Zion can't even oh. stay in shape or healthy enough to, well, in shape. Damn. I'm not going to say healthy. I'm not going to blame health, but in shape enough to. That's why he's not healthy, because he's not yeah. in shape. Mm. Then, then I change. Then I change. If he wants to be there, I, I'm sticking with Bi. Then, because you're right, Zion. I, I, I said this before. I don't think Zion wants to be there. You're right. I changed my. I changed my answer. I think Brendan Ingram's just. That's the best I have a new racer. Okay, okay. Yo, Mars, talk to us about some offseason moves that you could potentially see happen, um, or that you would like to see happen. The Detroit moves make sense. I do think one of Wiseman or Isaiah Stewart is going to go just because that's kind of a log jam up there. Marvin Bagley, I don't know what they're doing with him. Um, I think Bogdanovich will probably, a team will, like that's trying to compete, will probably try and get Bogdanovich from them as well. Um, I, th- I think um, I think a team that might try and like, make a push for like Bradley Bill would be like the Indiana Pacers. Who think they're like maybe one piece away from being a competitive team because they actually looked okay with Terry Saliburn when he was healthy. Mm-hmm. I think I, I don't know what they really have. Maybe Benedict Mafferin, um, Buddy Hield, um, some other pieces and some picks. Probably get them Bradley Bill, considering Washington need to blow it up. 
Porzingis to Golden State is the move um, I've spoke about many times. I still stand with that move. Um, I don't know what defenders Dallas can get, but they're going to be looking at some sort of defense in the offseason. Mm. And other than that, I mean, I don't know what moves like teams like Phoenix are going to make. Um, I'm interested to see what Toronto do with their new coach. I'm interested to see what they do. But those are like the moves that I think are like the most obvious ones. And I think the Pacers are going to do something dumb and try and compete. And I think they'll probably go in the Bradley Bill sweepstakes. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I got another super chat that I do want to dive into. I uh, want to start getting into these. Mm -hmm. uh, Drink More Water said, out of these players that didn't make the playoffs, which would have the largest impact on a playoff team if traded? Bradley Bill, Zach Levine, Keldon Johnson, and I'm assuming that's Anthony Simons? Mm -hmm. Not Zach, Zach, Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Bradley Bill. Who, who, who was the other one? I'm sorry. Bills I need to start paying more attention because I keep hearing a lot about Kelvin Keldon Johnson. I need to start paying more attention to him because I've seen him play a couple of times and he can go, but I don't think that he would be that impactful on a playoff team today. As a, maybe in two more years, we might have, we might have that conversation if he does have some sort of experience at that level. But I need to start paying more attention to him because I keep hearing about him a lot. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't see it. I, I'm not going to lie, like, I've watched a bunch of Spurs games. Right, I have like, I start, I start, I start watching them, like, at a certain point during the season. Yeah. But I think Devin Vassell is going to be better than Kelvin Johnson. But that's just from my small sample of games. I, I'm mm. not mm. extremely high on Kelvin Johnson. Maybe maybe I'll be wrong. I'm going to watch them more, considering they're going to get Wemby next year. So I'm going to actually right. pay attention more. Right. But I, I don't see it as much with Kelvin Johnson. And I think Zach Levine is just the best player of the people on that list. 6'5". Oh, no, yeah, exactly. be, be, best shooter of them. Probably the best around the rim. Surprising. He's probably the best defender of all of them as well. So, yeah. What I don't want to do is I don't I, I don't want to overvalue the guy because he's getting the top-notch player. So, for example, him getting Wimby. I don't want to start to overvalue Keldon Johnson mm -hmm. considering mm -hmm. I seen him play and, I right, is this dude going to make him that much better? Easy. I, I don't want to jump the gun on that. Uh, I would say that they're not actually going to be on the court together. I don't know why. How it would make him better? <laughs> Ox, who who would you say would be most impactful on the playoff team? Bradley Bill. Okay, and fluent you. I said Levine. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Moving along. I think Bill hurts hey. a playoff. Wow, Tom. That fifty million dollar contract oh, oh, for the money. Okay, for the for the money, I, I you thought you meant because of his game. Oh, of course, players. absolutely. I mean, oh, you got four more years left on that deal and two hundred and six million. Yikes! That means someone else has to come off the books. Yeah, you're having to blow up your roster to get Bradley Bill. Right. Right. That's, that's why two hundred and six million over the next four years. Yikes! There's a lot of crooks in the NBA. <laughs> What's the same going on with Dame? When you look at Dame's contract, the last two mm -hmm. years of Dame contract, fifty eight and sixty two million. That's crazy. These next five years, you really going to see who wants them. Good for them. Good for them. But that's crazy. The next five years, you really going to see who wants to win and who's really trying to leave money on the table. Because That's what I'm. That's why I'm telling you, Damo, uh, these teams that you see today, you're going to mm -hmm. see a lot more homegrown units because these dudes mm -hmm. ain't leaving this money on the that's table the like they did in years yeah. past. They're going to stay right home. Unless they really want to win. Once we see guys turning down that – 260 300 million dollars to really go win. He's like, no. All right, he, he is serious, and I don't think it's gonna be a lot of them. It might be just one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Knicks need to trade Julius Randle I, I by any means necessary, even yeah, if it's for a pack machine. They need the Knicks, the Knicks, yeah, the Knicks, for anyone. For anyone. anyone for James Wiseman. Why not? The James Wiseman, they're talking about an all pro man. Hey, Two wow. years in a row, he's an all, all pro. Two years in a row. They got a real player. And he's not, not that good. What kind of what, 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 so, so if he's not that good, so if he's not that good, how bad is the NBA? Value? He's an All Pro and he's not that good. That, yeah, I mean, not only that, he, not he only, put, not he only put, that, he puts up numbers in the regular season. So how he can he the the playoffs, season. right? Right, Mars. I get that part. Just not that good. Right, I never want to hear anyone say I'm not that good. I'm in the NBA now. Never again. If I'm not that good, Mars, then don't. Is it is it is it fair to say that maybe I can get value from somebody else on the crew? Like maybe I'll ask for RJ Barrett. Right, maybe I'll ask for Quigley. Because if uh, if if Julius Randle, who by the way, I'm probably getting him at a value because he hadn't. I don't think he re up with uh, I don't think he re up with the Knicks yet. So I'm I don't think he's on the books for for that much money. So because of that, I'm not probably I'm not going to ask for him if he's not as good as you say he is. 
I'm probably going to ask for somebody that works better in my organization, like <laughs> R.J. Barrett, who's on the ascend. His game is getting better every year. It might not translate to other people because other people look at him and think that he, because he was the number three pick in the draft or the number two pick in the draft, that he should be 28, 29 a game, even though he's 22 a game. You still and he's getting better you, every RJ, year. I do. I, I, I do. I, I dig me some R.J. Barrett. Yes, I do. But what I'm saying is that if, if I'm going to trade for a guy, I don't want to trade for a guy who's on the other side. Not only is he on the other side, he's not very good. And I'm not getting that much value for him. If I'm going to ask for somebody on the Knicks, I'm going to ask for somebody who's going to help me. If Julius Randle sucks, I don't want him. No, I'm not, I'm not saying the team's asking for Julius Randle. I'm saying the, Ju the Knicks no, are asking just, people to take yeah, Julius Randle. Hello, he hello, hello, how you feel about you? you? What will you give me for Julius Randle? You give me two second round picks? You give me two second round picks? There you go. Clint. Just get him off the team. <laughs> That's what needs to happen. No, one, no one's calling up the Knicks like, is Julius Randle available? No one's doing that. The Knicks are calling everyone. Will you please take Julius Randle? Please. We'll just anything you want. One second round pick. We'll do the trade. Just get him. I, off I, I, I don't. It's, I don't believe that. It's amazing how, I don't how Julius that's Randle. True. I don't. I, I, I really they don't. Need to do. that, that's what they need. That's to do. The, you might say that's what they need to do, but that's not what's actually happening. Oh yeah, the Mars is saying do. The same thing the Mars is saying. Uh, the Knicks need to do with Julius. The Timberwolves need to get on the phone and get one of the centers off the team. Either Cat or Rudy, they got to trade. Okay. One well, yeah, first I, and foremost, Damo, you're not getting rid of. You're not getting rid of. You're not getting rid of Rudy. You're not. That's not happening. I gave up four. I gave I gave up four ones for you. We're gonna figure this out. And, it's and, that simple. Yeah. So they ain't gonna catch. We 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 gonna we definitely gonna figure this out. No question about it. And, Julius and, and, for cat. Julius Randle for cat. You know what? I would do that deal. I would do that deal. I don't know who says no. That's that the crazy. There we go. There we go. We found the trade. We found the trade. I like I like that too. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. Both. That's a good trade for both. Take away each other's problems. Yeah. And add on problems. Not New problems. But <laughs> no, but I think no, but I think Randall works better with that lineup. And I think Cat works better with, works with better. I, yeah. I like that trade. I he like better, it. Better, better fresh starts. All right, fellas. I got a super chat from O. He said the twins played pro teams in OTE and they played all right. So when they played grown men and showing something. They had that one run that. against that. I, I know what game he's talking about. There was that clip going of Buddy getting a dunk against um an overseas team. I don't know what team that was though, because there's different levels when it comes to it, it's different levels when it comes to the overseas team. So I don't know right. what team that was. I'm pretty sure that wasn't. I don't know. Let me not say I, I like I know. I, I doubt it was a bunch of 30, 25 to 30 year olds that came over to OTE to play one game again against two 19-year-olds and some 16-year-olds. I don't think that was the case. That might have been a lower-tier overseas it's, team, but you know hey, you're what? right. It, those, those exhibition games, though, you never know. Like, haven't we seen, like, Tel Aviv come over and beat the Spurs or something like that, or Maccabi come over and beat the Spurs last year or a couple of years ago? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, But even yeah. with that, that's still... The Australian team came up and they beat two and they beat Phoenix. OKC and they beat Phoenix. Phoenix. They beat Phoenix. Yeah. They beat Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know how much weight I put hey, in. Hey, y'all be, y'all be sleeping on them over, them over to these teams are, are very good. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. Very no, good. Good. No, no, why? Because they, when no, I see them in the when guys. I see that Chinese maybe, team come maybe to, not to you the guys. and lose by 50, I see that happening. Right. And then I'll see, uh, not Olympiacos, but I'll see the the, the A team in the Euro League come over. I'm not, I'm not saying Olympiacos. No, but I'll watch the A team in the, not Barcelona, one of the best teams in the Euro League, come over in the in in the preseason and get smoked by forty. Mm -hmm. So it happens. No, it happens, it happens all the time. I'm saying some of, some of those top tier teams over there are they're legit. They're dogs, yeah. But I don't think it was a top tier team that played in the OTE exhibition game. But again, I could be wrong. I'm not going to make it seem like my is this work. OTE is this going to be a defining moment for this league? Because if these yes, guys come into right. so that's that's what I'm asking. So if these guys come into the league and they're this way, then Base, so basically what you're telling me, Damo, is these guys are going to lose a lot of credibility. Honestly, from what it's looking like, because they got the two Thompson twins, and I know yep. there's two to three more guys at the back end of the draft that's supposed to be – they're expecting to get drafted. Right. From my outlook, you need to – either you need the Thompson twins to both look super great to verify your league, or even if they make it and look just average and they don't live with expectations, you need those other two to three guys to get drafted and at least be some type of established to right. make sure other guys don't just go to the, the G League at night or go to college. They have this third option. Right. If, if the top twins don't pan out and these guys at the back end of the draft don't pan out, people are going to be looking at OT like, all right, I, why am I going to go here if these guys are trash? Like, I don't get right. it. What, what happens do you, to the do you think this is hurting? Do you think that these got, other leagues – 
are hurting they got basketball. Out by the NBA. NBA started the junior NBA, and the JBA couldn't afford to pay all their players. Like it was a bunch of scamming things going on. You know, Lavar Ball. You know, Lavar Ball business. Love him, great dad. W Black man. But yeah, his, his business practices. He had a lot of stuff go under. But yeah, the NBA started the J, the junior NBA at the time, and it just canceled them out. Everybody is not fit to be. You don't have to be the king. You can run with the king, yo. You don't have to be the king all the time. Everybody, I, I want to have my own shoe. Like, what's the big deal in letting somebody make you a shoe and signing a contract? You don't have to make my own. They'll they'll make you a shoe and pay you. Because if, if it hits, you make way more money. Um, <sighs> listen, everybody's chasing something. Um, do you think these other leagues are hurting hurting the NBA, though? Because they're bringing these players in, and all they care about is basketball, selling tickets, making money, right? That's their, their concern. It's not about developing these guys. Um, and now they come into the NBA, and they're not ready? Do you see that hurting versus the traditional route, which was NCAA, train them to be better, they stay there for two, three years, then they enter the NBA? Do you think it's hurting the NBA with those those types of things, like lacking in the fundamentals and stuff, or do you think it's okay? Fluent, I would say yes. I mean, college was the traditional route. And then we even went, we, we kind of alluded to this earlier in the show. When we were talking about having vets when, when Ticket was talking about like Charles yeah. Oakley. What, all, what he also forgot to say was dudes was going to school for three years. In three years, what are you doing? You're learning the fundamentals. They're, they're teaching you how to be disciplined. They're teaching you the game. You, you have to play in a system. So, I mean, yeah, anytime that you're deprived of that, anytime you're deprived of structure and being taught that you have to play the game this way, you have to rotate on defense properly, James Wiseman, maybe if he would have stayed in college for two or three more years, he would have learned that. Um, and just certain things like that, like you, you obviously lose a step in your maturation, in your growth process. So I, I think that's an easy yes, unless you're going and playing overseas with a, you know, a legit program. And even then, it's a, it's a, it's an age gap and it's a talent gap. Yeah, it's Those it's dudes it's are, are, are yeah, exactly. Those dudes are professionals. They've been playing over there for for nine years. So sometimes they don't have time to hold your hand and teach you the baby steps. It's hard to go from high school or uh, a OTE league straight to playing in the pros. It, it's it's believe it or not i don't care how talented you are it's still a mental a mental challenge for you as well i just think it's amazing that we talk about these guys and we talk about pros i mean i was a starter on my high school basketball team we were the number two team in the country i wasn't even thinking about joe dumas i wasn't even thinking about <laughs> trails pretty well because i'm like i am not close to that but these dudes today, 16, 17 years old, they looking at Jalen Green in the NBA. They looking at uh, these these players in the NBA. And I'm thinking to myself, what are you dudes looking at? At 18 years old, I wasn't even thinking about the NBA. I was thinking about playing on TV in college. That was it. Like the idea of playing pro basketball at 18, 19 years old, I just think that that is I, I know I'm 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 the old head on here. I just think that that's nuts, considering when I was 19. Mm. Super Going chats. to the next super chat. Uh, drink more water. Said offseason predictions: Milwaukee trades Grayson Allen, Pat Connaughton, and a 2029 first round for Bojan Bogdanovic. Milwaukee was aggressively trying to get him last year. I can see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, see, I see him getting off Detroit. And um, Milwaukee's a team that I mm-hmm. wouldn't be surprised. That's another guy I forgot the name when I said the Pistons were going to In the division, no, Mars? I mean, I know I know guys get traded Detroit in the Detroit aren't exactly but, but... trying to be competitive in the Central Division. They're not exactly like, oh, we're one piece away. They, 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 better be tr- they better be trying. They just paid their coach $100 million or whatever the hell they paid him. They, they better $8 million start. Dollars over six, six years. years. That's, that's, a, that's a project. That's what they brought him in for the long stay of a project, not to right. compete for six years, So. I think that's why the interdivision trade. I mean, I think it would work in that case. But if they were trying to be competitive, probably not. But elite talk with the super chat. He said, "You can't blame the organization. They won enough to get there. The simple answer is that LeBron was just not that guy that can't that can close out games. That's why they didn't go further and win it all to win it all." Both things can be true. Two yes, things can, can be true at the same Two time. Can be true at the same Thank time. You. Cheese said, "Create <clears throat> un- an unstoppable duo." For me, I got Joker and KG. Who you guys got? Uh, Joker is that and Curry. Since he yeah. KG. Mm-hmm. You said Damo. You said, jo- you, you Joker, said Joker and Curry. I said, yeah, Jokic and Curry. 
Mm-hmm. I'll say uh, Jordan and Pippen. That's what I was about to say. I mean, they, 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 I was about to say that they lost. They lost to Detroit, but you know, Kuzi and Russell. I'll, I'll say the team that Bill I'll say the, Sam Jones pick, and Bill Russell. I'll do the one that could have been. It actually could have happened. Jordan and Hakeem. I like yeah, Jordan. That's 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 pretty stockable. Jordan without Pippen and Conway. So, yeah. What? Yeah, uh, Jordan and Hakeem. Jordan, I, 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 oh yeah, I don't think that works. Yeah, man, Pippen is the GOAT. You're right. Exactly. Reggie the Tree said, what up, fellas? I appreciate y'all. Start bench cut. Dominique, KD, D. Wade, and why? Stay encouraged. Yeah, sorry, Dominique. You're getting cut, my friend. Um, KD starting D. Wade. Dominique. Oh, my God. I, I'm starting KD benching D. Wade. Cutting, Dominique. cutting that one-dimensional score. Um, starting Wade, benching. Starting Wade, benching KD, and uh even though I'm named after him, I gotta cut. I gotta cut Neat. You think you think D Wade is better than KD? I think he's greater. Yeah. What's the difference between greater and better? No, I think he's better. Let me not. Let me not even try to cop out like that. No, nah, he's better. Okay. I don't, I don't think it's crazy. I mean, I don't have them like too far apart. I will probably just lean KD. But yeah, Dominique's getting cut. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. KD's getting cut. Super unfortunate. Happily. Ox, what direction are you going with that? Start D Wade. Cut KD. Okay, so there's some hate going on here. This is crazy. But, okay. <laughs> hey, we want we want leaders. Those need and wait are better leaders. You know that intangible stuff, uh, Marcus. Mm. <laughs> Chill. Mars, I know how you feel. I, 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 I know how you feel about. I know how you feel about KD, and I'm a huge KD fan. But Dominique was impossible, yo. Oh my god, I love that dude. So KD is out. Yeah. So you think Dominique's better than KD too? KD is out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> KD, I, mean, I, I need, I need, I need to pick Even, even though I got, I got KD ranked higher than Nick. I do. I got KD ranked higher than Nick. Nick is just my favorite player. That's all that is. <laughs> That's all. Oh, I don't. Okay. I don't. That's rank all. I don't, I, I don't, KD's not ranked for me. It's so like it's how I start Jalen Green over Michael Jordan and Chris. That, that, that's it. He's, he's your favorite player. I mean. In the end, Michael Jordan is ahead of Jalen Green, but that's how that's how that's how I feel about that's how I feel about Nick and KD. K, Nick, I think KD is better. Nick is just my favorite player. That's all. Hey, okay, for okay. tomorrow, yeah. can you guys do me a favor for tomorrow? Because someone asked me this question and I didn't give him the list yet because I wanted to. Ask, I want us all to do it. Can you give your all-time five favorite players? Not the best. Just your favorite five, players. Oh, just All favorites. Just, just, just your favorite eight. dudes. That dudes that oh. at the top of the list. I can All do that. Favorite. Oh yeah, I can do that easy. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, do, point. do you want it to be? What we'll, we'll definitely do this tomorrow. But do you want it to be posi- by position or just top five? Nope, nope. just my top five just favorite, favorite players. players. Mm-hmm. All time, oh, yeah. top five favorite players. Yeah. So because I want to, I want to answer with a clip from all of us doing it. Khalil. Oh wait, 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 wait! Start bench cut. Uh, Ox, you. Oh, everybody went. Chill, you went. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Khalil, two thousand twenty-five said, "What up, fellas? Hope y'all day is going well. Who are the five teams and five players under pressure to win next season?" Philly, uh, Joel Embiid. Yeah. Let, let, let's, let's, let's let's each come up with a player and each come up with a team. Joel Embiid and Philly. There we go. Jason Tatum in Boston. Uh. Devin Booker and Phoenix. Oh, no, the, the players, don't have, to, the players don't have to be the team, but no, the players don't have to be the team, but it kind of correlates because yeah, again, no, we've seen Devin Booker. Yeah. We've seen Devin Booker go to the finals. He's lost. He's still searching for that first ring. And I'm keeping the trend of guys that are looking for their first ring. Like mm-hmm. got you. Flu in the ox. Joel and B. Copycat. He said Joel and B. Oh. James Harden. <laughs> oh, <it's a> copycat. <laughs> and what's the team? 76. Definite copycat. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's, I, I, I want I really want to say LeBron and the Lakers because that's just the expectation all the time. But I'm gonna go Luca and Dallas. I think yeah. if, if Luca like there's a lot of pressure on Luca, and if Dallas doesn't go deep after missing the playoffs this year, we're gonna start talking different about him. Aren't, aren't we going into year six this year? We're gonna start talking different. So, about so, it. so uh, we're going into year six, and like around this time is when, all right, yo, you're, you're nice, okay. You've been doing a lot of stuff. Now, where's the winning? 
because as awesome as you are, this isn't translating to anything. So now the empty stats yeah. logic is going to start. Not only is the empty stats logic going to start, it's going to be you didn't do anything when you had this or you didn't, didn't have that. There's going to be a bunch of different narratives, and some of them are going to be legit. So I think I, I think the clock's ticking on Luca, and it's and, and and the clock's ticking on Luca fast. Did so? Did somebody say Boston? Yeah, I said yeah. Tatum. And, I said Tatum in Boston. Okay. Well, then I'll go with did somebody said the Clippers. No. No, okay, I'll, go, I'll, so I'll go. I'll go with uh, Kawhi James Harden. Like James Kawhi Harden. Kawhi yeah, James Harden and the Clippers. Yeah. yeah. Um, James Harden. Oh, oh, uh, Ron. Yeah, James Harden player Clippers team. What's up? What's up? Highlight us. Uh, something I seen on my timeline that I I seen and I was like, damn, I ain't really never thought of it like that. And I wish I wasn't late because I would have said it before, like right as we came on, so to not take away from nothing. But Dem the Denver Nuggets are the first team in the West to win a championship that hasn't been in California, California or Texas, Texas. In, oh. in the last, I don't know how long. It's been since Seattle, right? Since Seattle, right? Since Seattle, right? Since Seattle, right? Of course. Crazy. Of course. Yeah, it's crazy. Yep. Yeah, but hold on. It's the, is it that crazy when you think about it? Because California has the Clippers, the Lakers, and... and Why do you and, say the Clippers? As if they, I'm about to say, okay, they're they're the Lakers are the Lakers and the Warriors. Hold on, and the, the Lakers, Warriors. the Warriors, and then the Spurs. Sacramento. And then Sacramento Texas, also. Texas, Dallas, Texas has Dallas and Houston. So they got five teams. The they rest Dallas, of they Sacramento, got too. They got San Antonio, too. Oh, it's Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento and San Antonio. Yeah, you see, I missed. So they got seven teams. They have seven teams out of a uh, out of a Western Conference that has, what, 15? 15. 15 so they got half now, the teams the whole time. in the conference. They got half of the team, but the championships is majority, the Spurs and the Lakers. <laughs> No, but go, the I'm going to say, I'm sorry. Golden, Golden State, State has State. four. If you think about Golden State has four. Oh, no, the Rockies do have two. You have two. That's six. The Lakers, the Lakers have five, six. I don't know how many they have. Yeah, Dallas they have six. Got one. Dallas has one. Like, the Lakers have got like ten. That's crazy. Five of Magic, five of Kobe. Well, the Lakers have more. That's 11. 11 or 12. 11, yeah. That's not including how many times they've been there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So... So they did. If you probably, if you look and see how many times the Lakers, who uh, the the Warriors, even and the Spurs, just those three out of the seven. Look how many times those three have been to the finals in the last. Is it thirty years? There's a reason why nobody else, uh, nobody else has won since seventy nine. It's not. It's not that so crazy as it seems. That was a crazy once you, once you fly, dive into it. Yeah. When I seen it and I really thought about, it, I was like, damn, I haven't really thought about that for a thing of how like two mm -hmm. states is making up. The last two decades of championships for one conference. Four decades. All right, fellas, moving along. Uh, Glody Matsingi, I hope I said your name right. He said, Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm watching you from the DR Congo. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about the rumor that the Warriors want to trade Kaminga for a higher pick, knowing that Kerr doesn't believe in you? I don't think Kerr doesn't <laughs> believe in you. I think that it's not translating with Kaminga as fast as he would like it to translate. I think that's the biggest problem. I don't think that Steve Kerr is not wanting to play Kaminga because he's young. Because he played Jordan Poole last year. So that I don't think – Yes, he plays Moses Moody. So he's got the – I don't think the youth is the problem. I think that it's not translating with Kaminga as fast as he would like. And I don't think that he's willing to wait much longer with him. I'm really not feeling trading Moody. I'm not, I'm feeling not, I'm not feeling trading Kaminga, but I can understand it. I would anybody else have feelings? I, I, I wouldn't trade him. Yeah, I'm I ain't very, feeling I'm very high on his upside. And I think just I think the issue going to state have is Steph Curry hasn't started to decline and he's 35. So now you're trying to extend the championship window for a guy when you probably thought by now you'd probably be looking at retooling and rebuilding. But because he's still staying at this level, you feel obligated to try and compete. And now you have young guys who don't fit the competing timeline. And then you have old guys who don't fit the timeline of allowing young guys to develop. And now you're stuck in like a limbo of what do we do? And I feel like they're going to end up trading these young guys. And this old core isn't going to compete as well as they the way it would. And they're going to end up regretting a lot of their decisions. Retweet. Cool. Liam McLean said, Ticket is like the boy who is mean to a girl in school, but deep down loves the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Paper Stacks 2G said the Cavs wasn't poorly ran. LeBron just didn't work on his game until he seen Kobe's work ethic. Oh my, okay. 
Why, why is every side so extreme? Either it's all it's LeBron sport or it's all or the Cavs sport. Like, there's no in between. Never know in the middle. Nothing, yeah. in the middle. no in between. Oh, either both. this both. or this. That's both. it. FIFA boy said, uh, please no dad jokes fluent. We could get Tone got a whole list of them. Yeah, I got to get yeah, them yeah, likes he, up. He, he got a whole he, list he, of them, so ready. you better get them likes up. I heard enough of them. I'm telling you that that Pictionary story is actually really funny. One day, hey, one one day we'll catch him slipping. Honey, there's some cussing M- in there too. MPNKA said we need to see Ticket versus Ox on the court. Sign the contract. Come on, Ron. What? You shouldn't even. We don't need to see that. You shouldn't even have read that, man. He Why not? Because he, he was just talking. He don't want it. Oh, okay. Oh, I got my, I he do, do, he do, he do, he do a lot of that. He do a lot of that. You know, now that Dylan Brooks type. Rah rah. <laughs> a, a, lot, a lot, lot of wolf just, chicken. Just, a lot of just, wolf just, chicken. To, just to amp y'all up. He do that. He do that for the entertainment value. He ain't about what he be talking about. Yo, wolf so, <laughs> so his name's now Wolf Ticket, or is it, or is it Ticket Brooks? Of, yeah, a lot of Wolf Tickets. That's what we're gonna. Start oh no, I'm, that, I'm that, not. That. I'm, right. I'm even. I'm not even thinking about that, man. Y'all know that that Boosie song. He ain't about what he be talking about. Y'all be falling for it. Uh, well, moving along, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. I'm just going to say Hitchum. Said Suns took most games off the Nuggets. Book is that guy. Fair. Okay. I mean, yeah, they did. Abuja Dani. Like so Abuja Dani. It's actually a pretty easy last name. Nice. Okay. I'll let you get it next time. <laughs> <laughs> Julius Irvin said, "What's the Warriors' title chances next year? Should they go after Bill? Would that make them the favorites next season?" In five percent, no, no. There you go. Mm-mm. No, it way. depends what moves they make or what they do with that roster. But mm-hmm. as things are looking right now, I mean, whatever chances they had winning the championship going into this past season, lower it by like 25 percent. Ace Q45 said in 2007-2008, LA was getting pow for future picks, and Boston got Ray for a top five pick because Seattle had the number two pick, which was KD. KG went to Boston because he had a no trades clause, which started the super teams. Okay. That's right. Alan R with a question for everybody up here said best passer slash playmaker of the last 20 years. Steve. Steve Nash. Uh, Nikola Jokic. Jason Kidd. Ooh. I like Steve Nash, too. Lonzo Ball. <laughs> Fire. Rajon, Rajon, Rajon Rondo. I got, I got Jack Kidd, though, for real. Jason, Jason Kidd is a passer? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be mad at him. All About the Wave said, this is for chill, fluent, and Mars. I think the 2016, I think the 2016 through 2018 Warriors was the only super team in the past 25 years due to having four All-NBA caliber players and a good solid bench. What do you think? Four All-NBA caliber players. And the, and the, 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 the Heat did, well, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Celtics had four All NBA caliber players. Ray Allen was still really good during that time. Kevin Garnett was was the defensive player of the year. Paul Pierce was elite, and Rondo was becoming elite. And I think Rondo made the All NBA team in either eleven or twelve. So I don't think that's true. I don't, I don't I, think the Warriors. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe in super teams. So I, I'm out from that question. I think if, if that's your criteria of a super team for all NBA players and a yeah. good bench, then yes, Golden State would probably be the only team that fits that. I think that's an extreme bar for a super team. I also don't think the Warriors had a very good bench either, but um, yeah, they would, they're would they the only team that fits that type of bar, but I think that's a very high bar. Moving along. The, 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 uh, Bulls, the, Bulls, didn't the, Bulls, the Bulls had four Hall of Famers. Yeah, Jordan, Pippen, Jordan Pippen, Rodman, and Kukoc. Yes, they did. And the highest three-point shooting percentage player in the history of basketball. So if you mm-hmm. want to call how, that. How, 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 clo- how close are the 04 Pistons having four All-NBA caliber players? Weren't they? Rashid, 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 Rashid
Mm-hmm. You could argue oh, yeah. they were four all awesome. NBA caliber players, right? Which yeah. would make them a super team, also, right? Yeah, and they had a good no, bench. So, think about yeah, this: damn good bench, team, damn good bench, a super team with no superstar. Crazy. I think Crazy. it's possible. possible. Yeah, I'm just. They I, did have I, four all stars. They did have that. Because I, I think they were four all NBA caliber players. I think maybe you're reaching a little bit with like Chauncey Billups, maybe, but I, I think they were four all NBA caliber players. Ku coach ain't no effing Hall of Famer. Well, he is in the basketball Hall of Fame. He is in the Hall of Fame. You don't know about Ku coach overseas, man, buddy. Yeah, really. really. Two, two-time Euro MVP before he before he came over here. Back to back. Tony Jean Claude said Conor McGregor is wilding, if true. I didn't even see the news. I seen somebody say something in chat. Probably, Probably. man. They said, Apparently. They said. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Ox. No, no, you got it. I'll actually would rather not. <laughs> yeah, they said uh, uh, uh like that? some assault, uh, assault against a woman after he uh, uh punched yeah. the the mascot type ordeal. That's what I see in the chat. I I haven't uh, heard nothing about it. I didn't even look it no. up, but I seen somebody in the chat say something about it earlier. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't sell um, don't sell that special K that special K uh, uh rookie card you got, Caldwell. Keep it. Ace Q45 says, so ticket saying the Cavs did enough for LeBron to win the first run with Gibson, J- Jameson, Gooden, Big Z, Larry Hughes, and a washed up Shaq, et cetera, is crazy. Carry on. I mean, the move to get Jameson wasn't a bad move. The move to, hey, get, to, to get Mo Williams wasn't a bad move. It was just if you have one, one move to get one player every two years – it's going to look bad in hindsight. Like, they didn't make an abundance of moves to make the team super competitive. They made a move this year. Things didn't pan out for two years. They made a move this year. Things didn't pan out for these two years. They made another move to get Shaq and Ben Wallace. So it looks bad in totality. Well, Plus, and, then, and, then, and, then why it looks, and then why it looks good is because in back-to-back years, they're the number one seed in the NBA. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the record does, does matter. But, again, there's a lot that goes into an organization – and the other teams uh, and the other teams made better moves. Ex- exactly. Ultimately. Exactly. Julius Irvin said, "Is Curry more box office than anyone since 2015?" LeBron James. I didn't even call just him, you, Dr. J. Is that Curry more box office? Than yeah. Mm-mm. Was Curry? To be honest with you, I got a question for the panel. Was Curry more box office than Russ? Yes. 2016 Curry was a different type of box. I'm just speaking from my perspective over here. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it was it was a it was very basketball elevated another level in the UK in 2016 with Steph Curry. Right, everything changed. That's when basketball Curry. Steph Curry, what he did when we're talking about box office, what he did Mm -hmm. was he made everybody believe they could play in the NBA. You could do this. Mm-hmm. Everybody, yep. because he wasn't six foot eight to te- foot two fifty, and you're like, I can't be that guy. He wasn't seven foot two. He was a mm-hmm. six foot. Although, what is he? Six three? He probably looks like he's like six he's, one. He's listed, he's listed, he's listed as six four, three. Right? Okay, mm-hmm. he's not. Um, and so he's like the six foot player that everyone's like, oh, I can do that. You, you can't. But they they absolutely thought if I jack up yeah. enough shots from the logo, I'm eventually going to start making them. And everyone thought, hey, we could be we could be this guy. And that's why I think it took off. Like, because it wasn't him dunking. It wasn't. Right. It wasn't we see the guy. We can't do that, Steph. Oh, I can do that. No, you can't. But yeah, that's a, that's why Steph was was huge. Huge. I think that. I think that. Go ahead, Damo. I was just gonna say I, I knew Steph was different when literally he changed the face of basketball to the point to where and and again, chat. This might be a casual take, but I knew it was different when he changed how cats was playing two K. When I seen everybody change how they played 2K, I was like, oh, yeah, this dude, Steph, is different. No, but that's accurate. Yeah. That's real. Like, when I seen from the park to 5v5, everybody changed how they played 2K now? Yeah, nah, this dude is different. I, I remember 2K came out in 2016 with a statement saying they don't know how to make Steph Curry in the game because what he does is too unrealistic. He was broken. <laughs> that's what he they said. About that. Think about that for a second, Mars. Like, we're trying, to, we're trying to make a video game, but... Which is virtual, by the way. This is unrealistic. And let me be clear. And let me be clear. We have video games where people can fly and kill each other and come yes. back to life. And yes. <laughs> but we can't make it. It's this too is unrealistic. unrealistic. This is virtual, right? But this dude that's actually doing it in real life, we can't put this in a video game. 
Yeah, that, that doesn't even I, make I, sense. I remember, I remember hearing, I was like, okay, yeah, this is insane. I'm, but with yeah. that being said, I mean, Russ's MVP season where he averaged a triple double, he was must see TV mm -hmm. 100%. And then even after that, as bad as he had played, he still was box office. I mean, I don't think that he was box office in the sense of Steph Curry, but I do think that he was box office. But I don't think I think it's about who. who what Tone, I think, Tone, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think you think I'm looking at him like he was as good as Curry, as opposed no, to no, no. I know you're when not. he was on TV, people wanted to see it. But I just don't and think 100 like international global fascination that Curry did. Yeah, mm. but it's now, it's uh, fans, absolutely. But I don't think there there was just a global casual fan global fascination with with Steph right. that I I don't think we've ever even with Jordan I don't think we even uh, maybe with Jordan but I don't think we even saw that with him like it was just so like people were running out and shooting um, 2016 the main, the main thing, influential the, seasons in NBA history yeah. just like the main thing year, is, is, I think is what you said what you said earlier though Florian, I do believe it's like that because people see see Steph <laughs> And that can relate to Steph. They can see themselves in Steph like oh I can I can be that but I also do think it's there's a lot of people that kind of would rather see Russ though. Like it's it just depends on what you're into, like at that yeah. time especially. But I mean, yeah, uh, I think more people relate to relate to uh, Steph for obvious reasons. So. He's just a more more down to earth guy, I guess. It's it's more it's more real. Like you can't even do yeah. when you see Westbrook, you can't do that. You can't run yeah. that fast. You can't jump that right. high. You can't, right. bro. You can't. You can't. And we we had we had this talk. We had this conversation before. Uh, a while ago, and it was actually somebody was trying to tell trying to tell us that um, it's more people people believe they can do what Kobe Bryant was doing more than Steph or something like that. Like it's, this I'm was like, with Dub. This was with Dub. What? It was Dub. Oh, okay. yeah. Remember, remember, Dub was, was saying it's it was. easier for him to replicate Kobe Bryant than it is for him to replicate Steph Curry. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Mars, that's I'm pretty. You was there, that? Mars. Yes. What yeah. he said that. Yes. Is this after 10 hours of work? Uh, 10 right. hours of like <laughs> footwork training and, right. and repetition of shooting? Is that what this yeah. is after? So we gotta get so, we gotta get some context on that because that don't yeah. sound correct. That that don't I'm sound pretty correct. I'm pretty sure the guy was Steph that he was comparing it to with dub. It was I Steph, can't it remember. definitely Steph. It was it definitely was Steph. Steph and Kobe. But you know, cause that's but that my point is like that, like I, I don't I don't understand that because I look at it like you know, nobody can do that like you can't just you can't just wake up one day and be six seven you know what i'm saying you can't wake right. up and all of a sudden jump over guys and you know do the all up in the air and all the stuff kobe could do so right I, I think i think steph just is relatable worldwide people see him and it's yeah. like well he's not a freak athlete he's 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 way faster than he looks you know a lot of people don't realize well, yeah like, let, oh, let's be clear right let's be steph clear is still you, more athletic than 19 yeah he's he's still yeah, a yeah, yeah. exactly people, exactly. people he's, underrate he's his conditioning yeah, not, not even this. Not even just his condition. Just, just Nothing. his natural body, his natural physique. Being being six three is is not natural. You know what I'm saying? He's mm, he's, he's still way um, way different than you know than, well, <laughs> than, than the average person. You know the average like, man people, is I'm, five I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure people, That's what the average see? man's height is. You're you're six three. Fluent. I know when you walk yeah, around, so like, people still be like, man, he's tall. Yeah, well, like, I'm, I'm six. I'm six. It's, hey, bro, I'm not gonna hear this like, seven that, times yeah. a day. Yeah. Like, oh, how how tall are you? Like, bro, leave me the fuck. It's actually it's actually crazy. <laughs> like, people, people look people look at me and they're like, "Wow, you're so tall." I'm like, "Really?" Because I play basketball. I was like, "Dude, I was like one of the shortest guys yeah, on my team. Yeah. I'm not that tall." Bro, but I had a, I had, a, hey. I had a short man. To be honest with, you. I know it sounds crazy, Damo, but I had a short man's complex. And my lady used to tell me that's because you hang around seven footers all, all, all yeah. half your life. That's why. Yeah. I told I told you I told you the crew that I used the crew that I used to roll with like to the clubs and stuff. I was the shortest, smallest dude. Like I'm six three at that time. I was six three two twenty, and I was the shortest and the smallest of all of them. Um, and you six get, nine, six you get nine, a little, like, little life, man so fight everybody. Gotta, gotta <laughs> get a little man complex. Feet, I was six two, six three, trying to play center against like guys going D one guy. Like guys, against, I played Marquise Chris in high school. Marquise Chris was a PG. I, I played against him. Like I'm playing against guys like that. Cam Oliver, six. He was six eight uh -huh. at um, high school at the time. I'm going against them at six two, six three. I had short man's complex, and I'm six five now, looking like bro. The guys I was playing were bigger than me now in high right. school. I, I, I feel you. The Jack. average. To, to, so the average height, the average height of, of of globally, five foot nine for men, five foot four for women. So it's Damn, it's still below average for women. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're you know, still what, growing. What? You're young. 
Yeah, my growth spurt's coming, man. My growth spurt. It's coming. Well, you, you're only 15, Mar, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. You're only, you're only 14, Mar, so, you know. Yeah. The voice, that's like I said, the voice will go down and the height goes up. Uh, that's, that's mm. What you got, Ron? Devon Williams said, I think Boston should go after KP or Cat. Boston? No. Boston. Boston need a point guard. Boston need a point guard. Yeah, they need a distributor to get those and guys. They have that other guy coming off the bench. Don't forget, Gallinari got hurt last year, so yeah. he's still in the contract with them. So he'll be back in the rotation next year. So he's going to be good. Now, I ain't going to say he cat good. I'm not going to say he's uh, Porzingis good, but coming off the bench, I think he can give you some really good minutes. I don't think you need cat. I don't think you need. They, they, they need a guy to keep Jalen Brown on the right side, driving to his right. That that's like someone just like a traffic cop. That's what they need. Don't go left, brother. Don't go left. Lego Rover said, if Cat comes to my team, I'm going to cry. Are you going to cry in joy or are you going to cry in pain? Which no one's crying in joy. No one's okay. crying in joy. <laughs> Did you see Cat say that um, when he retires? Oh, he's my God. He's, people oh, I love that. Change the game. Quote. I did, I, and I said, I, I agree with him. People will say him. He, they will. His Coaches kids. have changed their mind that they won't want. They don't want big <laughs> shooting the threes. All right, you know, all his, right. I'm saying, bro. I guarantee his oldest son will say, "My dad changed the game of basketball." Yeah, he's a legend. His yes. grandkids, big men are posting up again. <laughs> yeah, his his wife. You know what I'm saying? They, they might they might say that's people. Pat Bev said Pat Chat was the best offensive big man in the game. His family will say he they changed his life because at least he Mars, got that. Mars, Pat, Pat is politicking because he knows one day he's gonna be out, he's gonna be getting ready to get booted out the league, and he's gonna need to pull with all due respect of Carmelo Anthony and call Cat, like, oh, hook me up, you know. Just so you know, Mars, Pat Beverly is the, also the one who said he's the best offensive rebounding guard in NBA history. He did say that. Which is not true, but that's not Carmelo. even close to true. <laughs> no. Y'all seen that quote of him and uh, Cat talking? And Cat's like, yo, we had four months, man. We could have deal with the Nuggets dead. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. God. I don't know what <laughs> these Timberwolves dudes is delusional. What? Um, the brains froze up there in Minnesota. That's why. J. Rob B. with the super chat. He said, chill. I'm a Mavs fan, and I watched every game. KP not necessarily Cat soft, but he do got a little soft in him. Let's just say he does have a little soft in him. That don't mean he's soft, <laughs> There's a difference. So, I right, saw so, so cat cat and uh. Pat Would you prefer to have a little hard in him? Oh, oh, oh wow! All right, for one. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 basically, what y'all saying is Pat oh, Bev and Cat are those are those two friends? You know, the girls during the during the winter time. It's like yo, we're gonna get you know ready for hot girl summer. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be in the gym, and they're gonna go to the gym until the last week of April. And then they 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 do they do some cardio for a week and they lie to each other in the mirror. Gone, no, girl, you look gone. Good. You slim down. Gone. That's very specific. <laughs> gone. I'll be hearing it. Be... <laughs> they, they keep going to the gym until April twelfth at twelve p.m. and then they walk out and they're done. Yeah. So I'm eating some cherry. I'm eating some cherries and some cherries and uh and mangoes. Y'all get y'all fruit and hydrate your organs. Need it. Jersey hey, loves yeah. I'm going to be honest. Cat not Jersey enough for me. Which is, well, you got to remember that he's from Plainfield. Like, he ain't What's from Jersey mean? City. He ain't from Hoboken, right? He's not from oh, Trenton. From, from a from different Canada. part of town? Yeah, mm-hmm. he's, from, he's from Plainfield. He like, my, he like yeah. close. You go to Cranbrook? Is that a private school? <laughs> With the St. Joe's, as a matter of fact. <laughs> All right, fellas, moving along. I got a couple mm-hmm. more Super Chats I want us to get into. Uh... Devin said KP on OKC. They have the assets to do it. Well, don't they already have a, a, a potential KP and that's Basically. Chet? So don't they already have that? Now, don't get I me wrong. To play Chet with, before. with SGA, now with SGA turning into what he's turning into, I feel like the timeline now with Oklahoma City has gotten pushed up. So now these guys got to start improving more. So we don't have four or five years to wait. Like these guys got to start getting better faster. So Chet has to Chet has to pan out, and Chet has to pan out fast. So I don't mean in seven or eight years. And Chet's got to pan. Like we have to see something in the next two years to suggest that I right, we made the right pick and we're gonna move forward with this guy, as opposed to, well, we're gonna give him a little bit more time, and after year four, he's still doing the same thing. 
Yeah, SJ has sped up the timeline there exponentially. But I, I think Chet needs to play the four. So Porzingis, if they could get it done without giving up like any of the core guys, like on Us- they can give up like an Usman Jang. Um, I don't know what contracts they have, like Darius Sarge. A lot of them dudes on Rook deals. So like Jalen Williams, mm-hmm. uh um what's the other kid's name? Um they have two Jalen Williams. Josh Giddy, they have Giddy, 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 Josh that's Giddy. what I'm both both Lou of them dudes. Probably yeah. on one of the yeah, Lou, 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 Lou Dort, he's still – Right, Lou Dort, he's still on, not Lou Dort, I'm sorry, Giddy, he's still on his rook deal. So they ain't really paying nobody right now. Yeah, OKC okay, so can yeah. afford to take on a larger a contract without going over the cap. Yeah. But yeah, if they just don't give up any core guys, Porzingis, Porzingis can, can work. And I, I uh, would Kyle do it. C, Kyle C, no to Podosferro, that's, uh, that's Mars. It's the Podosferro guy. Oh. Soccer. I soccer. Chat, Asking Greek. Chat? Football. Yeah, Podosferro, it actually translate. it actually literally translates to football. That's him down there, Mars. Go check out Footy. No, oh, thank you. Good plug. Mondays. Gotcha. Thank you. Adrian Shake said, breaking. Bulls looking to see if there's interest in Zach Levine. Philadelphia, Miami, Charlotte, and Portland are among the teams interested. What is the thoughts on Zach Levine moving this offseason? If, if, if Philly offered Tyrese Maxey for Zach Levine, do you guys like that trade for either team? I like it for I like, I like it for Chicago. I do like, I like it for it. Chicago. Yes, I, like I do. Yeah, I do like that for I, Chicago. I, 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 What's your problem I with it, Tom? I, I don't like. I, it depends on who else. Like, does Philly still have Harden and 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 Tobias? Like, I feel like there would need to be other moves that went. I'm with assuming. That. I'm assuming Tobias has to go. I don't yeah. know. I, I think he'd be in a different deal, but I think Tobias has to go somewhere else. But okay. um, then, then, then I'm then I'm okay with it. But. I think Philly's going to try to keep James Harden. I don't know if they can, but I think they're going to try to. Really? Oh, yeah. Doc's gone now. Did you see Doc when he said it's Harden's? Yeah, James he said James it was hard to coach James Harden. Hard to coach another, James Harden. Another, another, you know, another person. Don't, to blame. don't you feel bad for him? No. Like, you know, yeah. have, having to deal with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin and Joel Embiid and Life Kevin sucks. Barnett God. and. Ray oh, Allen and Paul Pierce. That life poor guy. Sucks. Like, he's had it hard. He's had yeah, it so hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's except for, except for that, except for those ball, that Boston bunch, bro. You named a lot of frauds and bums. <laughs> yeah, I did. I said Doc Rivers. You're yes. right. I gotta tell the truth. Oh. Like the biggest fraud you know, and bum of them all, Doc. It's got to be hard to coach James Harden now. And in 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 Doc's defense, I I do understand when he said, "I wish I would have had him when he was younger." Because maybe he could have got a, a, a better handle on him and maybe some things would have changed. But at this point in James Harden's career, he is who he is. And so, who did he who did he have in Orlando? I'm sure I'm missing I missed some other players. That first round exit match. Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady, Grand Hill. Hold on one second. My mom calling me. I gotta... What up, mama? Oh boy. Hi, mom. Oh my God. Real quick. I'm sorry. I I'm looking. I actually see the Conor McGregor news. They're saying he did this. At game four of the finals, did what? What are you talking about? Con- Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Oh, oh, McGregor. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. to to no, to I'm feel sorry. you and Conor, Mag- Conor McGregor okay, out here taking. Conor McGregor he, punched he, the mascot too hard, yeah, but, but he, also he also out no, here. He also out here. He also out here doing wild stuff with when it comes to chess. It's at the game. I thought it was yeah. like at, regardless. Yeah. Of yeah. Terrible, that's not terrible. But I'm saying it said at the game at game four. That blew me. What the world? Yeah. Listen, he had a private box. D will to succeed said, what do you think about trading Dame for Jalen Brown? You will see Jalen Brown become a number one and Dame gets his win now situation. If Portland do that, they need to disband the franchise. They do, <laughs> man. They That's do. We, we, we talked about that trade, Dude. but again, Dame's not getting traded. So just damn. Not happening. Alfred Griffin said, hey, Mars, Randall for KP. If I'm the next, I'm doing it. You get, they have him back. you get KP back. I Randall's off the team. I, mean, yeah, I don't. I don't rehire people. Mm. Moving along, John Wick one game said, "I see Stephen Adams to the Lakers." I would like it. I like it. I'd be forgetting that. about him. I just be forgetting he exists sometimes. But see, him not playing in the playoffs is why I don't think the um, Grizzlies are going to completely blow it up. I feel like they'll look at it like we didn't have him or our backup big. Yeah. We still got a chance as long as Jaws not out for all the season. Yeah. 
Lego Rover said Mars. Have you heard what Robert Ory said about 2007? If it's regarding um, him saying that the Cavs were running some of the Spurs sets so it was easier for them to defend them, then yes. But I, don't, I haven't heard everything he said. I heard that little clip. But um, yeah, that's all I, all I heard from it. If you guys have seen the full interview in Latin. I didn't. Anybody? I didn't Somebody? see it. I'm sorry. I seen, him, I seen him say it was like one of the like, uh, easy ring. He said it was well, easy. Yeah, I don't yeah. see it. The easiest finals he's a part of. I don't see easy ring, but. Yeah. Do you know I think I think someone ran back and was like uh of all the all NBA players that season, none of them in the East were first all NBA players. Do you mm. see that? Who 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 was all NBA first team in 07? Nash, Kobe, um, James, Duncan, Dirk, Dirk. Dirk. That's I don't know who the other one. I gotta go find that out. Uh, Dwight, I don't think Dwight Howard was. Um, if you think about the guards, Bryant was first team in Nash. If you think about the forwards, um, oh, Stoudemire was first team All-NBA that year, too. Mm, okay. So, what, Stoudemire, Duncan, and Duck? I, I, that... I, think it was, I, I think that was the front line. Yeah, I think Stoudemire was first team All-NBA that year. So, uh, yeah, so it was of the nine of the, I think it's nine out of the 15 were from the West, and none of them were first team. Mm-hmm. Mm. In the East, in the East. I think that was a way of saying the East was weak. Was James was first team? I think. I doubt I it. Know, I don't know if James was first team All NBA that year. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. He, again, don't if think the he first, he's, I'm not sure. he's, just, he's, just, he's just not that guy. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Gratsky said 2015 Warriors or the 2023 Nuggets? Well, in a series. What? Yeah. We got to remember, too, man. We talked about this yesterday. That Warriors team in the finals, they were not good offensively. Mm-hmm. Now, this good, this Denver Nuggets team, offensively, they weren't fantastic. With Joker, I think that I think they would get a Warriors hell because I don't think that they have an answer for Joker. And Steph Curry was becoming Steph Curry. I think they were a lot bigger. Not only were they a lot bigger, I just think they did more offensively at that time. Now, if you're asking me 16 or 17 Warriors, I think that that's something different. But the 15 Warriors, I think that the I think that the Nuggets were a little bit more complete. Chill, that 15 Warriors wasn't that team wasn't that small. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying they got anything for jo- for Joker, they had Berger, but they had, they had the and they had didn't they have Festus at that time too? We don't bring him up. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying they were because he, he still played. They wasn't that small. <laughs> I uh, be, be no, no, was it Festus? They had a solid backup big, though. It was yeah. him, it was, was, it was no, he definitely weren't a solid backup big. There must have been someone mm. else, it wasn't him. No, Festus, Zilli, and Harrison Barnes will never be forgiven. Back. What they had, Jordan Bell, or that was later? No, nah, Jordan, was, that was later. later. No, Mars, I don't think, was I think he was in 17 bad. or 18. As a, as a backup, the whole, big, the whole reason, reason the whole reason Golden State lost that game seven in 2016 is because Steve Kerr played Festus, Zilli. He came in and gave up like two threes instantly, and that's why the Golden State Warriors lost that game. So and no, it, Golden State it, fans it, will never forget. It, it, it would be nice, Mars, if if Harrison Barnes could knock down a fifteen footer, though. That would be nice. Oh, It'd him too. Him too. That that'd be great. I'm not gonna get you started, Ox. I'm sorry, Ox. I'm not gonna get you started. <laughs> it's about that time, Ron. I'm not. I'm not gonna get you started, brother. But go ahead. I'm sorry, Ron. Keep going. Shamori Small. Said, I think the problem here is ticket overvalues accomplishments, makes 15 seem like 50, and devalues others. What does 15 seem like 50 mean? I don't, that part I don't get. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. That part I'm not sure about. I, I, on, that note, nine. on that note, I'm going to head out. I got to go. Tony Tone, All leave right. him alone. I'll see you later, Tone. Take care, brother. All right, brother. Uh, what's, what's tonight, Fluent? Fluent and chill, 9 p.m. Um, we got a bunch of good stuff. Uh, one of them, what are we talking about? Dame's never leaving Portland. It's free agency, trade talks. Uh, and we're going to tell you about our draft show next week, which is going to be star-studded. We've got a bunch of uh, players, prospects. Uh, so far, I think we have six or seven uh, joining us next Thursday uh, for our draft special. So we're going to talk about that tonight. Come check us out. Yeah, y'all tap in and get more. We're here. Just for anyone who doesn't know, I had to go look this up just so I could get it perfect. Festus Azili comes into game seven. What Golden State are up to? First, first possession, um, the, War- the Warriors score, make it 83 87. They go on defense. Festus Azili fouls LeBron James on a three for whatever reason. Oh 
makes it makes it a one point game. Then Steph Curry does his dumb behind the back pass. We all remember that. The then, they, then they then then the very next possession, LeBron James makes another three in Festus Zeli's face, and then Golden State are down, never get the lead back, and lose the game. And then Festus Zeli comes out the very next possession. The fact that he came in the game is why Golden get State get Festus lost. off the floor. There get was him no off the floor. reason for him to come in the game. Zero get reason, him. and that's why they lost. Get so Festus yeah, Zilli. Golden State fans. Back when I was a Golden State fan, we'll never forgive Festus Zeli, and Golden State fans will never forgive Festus Zeli. Get it's a shame. Festus. It's a shame that his career got cut short due to injuries. But they'll never, they'll never forgive. Get yeah, Festus never. Zeli off the floor. <laughs> Thickest Pilot Nine said, "Chill and ticket fighting like Bloods and Crips." Mm. That Thickest deserved Pilot that level of silence. That deserved that. <laughs> Thickest Pilot 9 also said maybe LeBron wasn't ready yet to be a champion. That happens. That 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 happens. That's why you lose in the playoffs because you close, even though I didn't think they were, that they got swept, but they just weren't ready. That happens. Jano Dub said, what up, Big Ox? <laughs> Uncle Ruckus with the Super Chat said, if the total... Higher or lower, we say higher or lower on this channel. Mm -hmm. If the total higher or lower for Luca for his career average, what for his career was 4.5 for scoring titles, chips, and MVPs. What are you taking? Higher, higher, higher. higher. My, my fault. Higher. I'm taking I'm taking the higher. Four and a half scoring title. Well, he, he he led the league in scoring this year. I think this is the first year he did it. Mm -hmm. and did he? I thought Embiid won the scoring title. Embiid did. He led. He was. He, Luca led the league in scoring for a while. My fault. Mm. Luca, yeah, Luca led. Luca was was leading the league in scoring for a while, and Luca. I'm sorry, and and Embiid, and Embiid took over. So, could he even lead the league in scoring at some point? Yeah, I think he could do that. Four more times, though. I think so. I'm I think. Luke, I think Luca gets at least two MVPs, and um, considering, I mean, I think he's been the favorite like each of that like, the last two years preseason. But um, I think he gets at least two this year. I mean, I'm yeah. seeing pictures that he looks slim. He looks in shape. We'll see what happens. But I think he wins at least two MVPs. The championships, I don't know, maybe. But the scoring towers, I can, I, I think he can get like three scoring towers. So that would be higher than 4.5. So I'll go higher. I'll take it. Skies said 1995 Rockets or the 2023 Nuggets? 95 Rockets. I'm going to take Ox, the Marsh. Situation. It's always Dama. hard for me to try and compare teams that played this far mm. apart and like try and put them in a game against each other. Recency like, bias. 2023 20, Nuggets, man. Recency well, the, reason why, the reason why I'm going this route, Mars, is because what I saw in this series, even though there was a talent, that, even though there was a talent discrepancy, we did have close games at some point. It came down to my best player is better than your best player. And I think that was the separator. A lot of games when it came to the Denver Nuggets beating the Miami Heat. Because in terms of talent, I mean, MPJ didn't play great some games. Right? Aaron Gordon played great, but that would be canceled out by like Robert Ory, possibly, in terms of playing defense. right? That, that, that could be canceled out by that. But then it would ultimately come down to whatever uh, Jamal Murray did. Maybe Drex would cancel that, cancel that production out. And then it would come down to what can Joker outplay Lajuan, and I don't think he can do that. And Houston have a very clear coaching advantage as well, in my opinion. Even though Miami did as well, but I think Houston have a co coaching advantage. I think Rudy Tomjanovich, I think he could, I think he could very well out coach Mike Malone. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the '95 Rockets. Yeah, I'm not mad. At I'm going with the Rockets. All right, fellas, I got a couple more super chats that I want to read, but Dumbo, mm -hmm. I want you to read this one for me from Saucy Go Beats. I got you. I got you. LKIB like the motherfucking stream. Or my effing stream, my bad. I don't know if we're supposed to abbreviate it. It's kind of late in the stream. I don't know. <laughs> All right, word. <laughs> D will to succeed says start bench cut. Cat Randall DeRozan. Let's have a hey, we, 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 we already know where Ma's going. I might say Mars gotta go first. Yeah, we already know where Ma's going. How do you do this one, Mars? What do you do? Uh, <laughs> what you do is you just give Seattle back a franchise and get rid of whichever franchise has to make a decision between these three. They <laughs> I'm not picking between those three. <laughs> Does anybody want to participate in the star bitch cut? Thank you, D-Will. Appreciate Dem you. Yeah, DeMar DeRozan can play 48 minutes. I'm starting, Cat. 
I'm I'm benching DeRose and I'm cutting Jules. There you have it. Empire Jeff TV said, what's the panel's criteria for a superstar? I feel like a superstar label is handed out too much nowadays to those who don't qualify. Well, if you don't qualify to be a superstar, what is a superstar if you don't qualify? So when I think about a superstar, I think about a franchise player. I think about a player who was proven in the regular season and in the playoffs. I think about a guy who embodies that team's franchise and he's one of the faces of the NBA. I think that's what a superstar is. So, for example, I think Jason Tatum is a superstar. I think James is a superstar. Um, let's see. Um, Joker, I think Joker is a superstar. Um, I want to say Buckets is a superstar, but if I was keeping with the theme, I think he is a superstar. I think, I think Buckets is a superstar. I think you have to transcend the game on and off the court. You have to be like bigger than basketball. You have to be above like everyone else. So I have a very strict criteria for superstar. I don't think it's just entirely dependent on your ability as a basketball player. I think there's a difference between superstar talents and superstars. Like for me, Kawhi Leonard is a superstar talent. He's not mm -hmm. a superstar. Jokic to me is a superstar talent. He's not a superstar. The only superstars in the NBA to me is LeBron and Steph. And maybe Giannis and maybe KD. So the so the idea of I don't really I'm I don't really know much about the game or I'm I'm not sure how much I like the game, but I want to see you. Mm. You are you ask a random person like on the street, do you know who LeBron James is? They don't know anything about basketball, they'll know LeBron. But James. they know him. That's you are, you ask them if they know who Nikola Jokic is, no idea. You ask them if they know right. who Steph Curry is, they'll know Steph Curry. You ask if right. they know Kobe Bryant, they'll know Kobe Bryant. They know mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, they'll know them. Those are the superstars to me. So there's plenty of superstar talents. But not necessarily superstars like globally, and that's how I. Which is <laughs> uh, last but not least, we're gonna end the show with this from my friend Chill, uh, buddy OG said Chill would say Cavs winning sixty plus games each time is all because of Braun, but when it comes to Mike and Kobe, he brings up teams and this and that. Flawed logic, man. I don't know if it's flawed logic because when. I think about Jordan and I think about Kobe Bryant. So that Kobe, that, that, that Bulls team that we were talking about, that won 72 games, they had the best player in the game. They had arguably the best all around player in the game in Scottie Pippen. They had the best rebounder in the game in Dennis Rodman. They had the best rotation player in the game. They had the second best long ball shooter in the game and they had the best coach in the game. So I that that kind of stuff matters when you're when, when you're talking about a great team. So when you have Kobe Bryant with Shaquille O'Neal, they had the most he had the most dominant player in the game in Shaq, and he had him for eight years. That stuff matters, man. As opposed, and he didn't have to do nearly as much. Like I mentioned, we were talking about, I believe it was in the in the in the 08 09 season. LeBron James led his team in points, rebounds, blocks, assists, and steals. No superstar has done that because they didn't have to do it. As opposed to these other guys, as opposed to him, who he had to do that because of the crew that he was on. Does that mean that them dudes was whack? No, but the fact that I had to do all of that means that my unit was inferior to yours. All right, fellas, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Hey, Mars, I knew it was a couple other bigs on that roster, too. Now, I'm not saying these are elite names well, or superstars or anything like that. David it was Lee. most most Spates and David Lee, and they had Anderson Vares out, too. So they, they had oh, they had some big bodies. Every yeah, time I hear Varejao, man, Varejao, it just sounds Varigel like I was on the Cavs that year. Huh. In sixteen, fifteen, in fifteen, was he? I don't know. I could be wrong. I know David Lee was hurt. David Lee was hurt. I'm pretty sure. Mo Spates was there. I know that Mo Bucket. Right. Mm -hmm. Festus Zili, no comment. I thought Varejao was on the Cavs, but I could be wrong. I'm. I mean, he went every back and forth between Varigel. the Cavs and Warriors. Y'all, y'all dudes gonna kill me. But every time I hear Varejao, I just think of, it sounds like a salad. I'll have the Vettigeau, please. Thank you. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> oh have a glass of red wine and the Vettigeau, please. Thank you. That's so random. That's what it sounds like. For real. Mm, for real, for real. So I'm just saying. But uh, in the words of uh, Izzo, I'm sorry. Liz, what's her name? Lizzo? How long? Um, yes. That the, the, in the words of Lizzo, yeah. it's about that time. So, <laughs> fellas, it was dope. I got to bounce. Mm -hmm. I will see you dudes tomorrow. Until then. Right and early. Yes, sir.
Until then, oh. take it. Oh, no, wait. I was going to say, hey, man, look, man, I'm hosting a Twitter space after this. I need to see what the best of, like, I, I, I've been seeing the chat and people accusing me again. people timed out. I promise you, I'm the biggest troll in this platform. I just don't show No, you're, you're not. Working. No, you are not. Okay. He's sitting right next listen, to you. Listen, He's listen. sitting right next if, to you. If you don't right believe there. me, if you don't believe me, that's dumb right on there. Twitter. I'm about to start a Twitter space. I Dude, promise you. Right pull there. up. If, open invitation. If y'all <laughs> think my takes is trash, pull up and flame me. If you think, if you, think you really <laughs> like that, Pull up, like I open invitations. Since people don't want to come on the pod, I could be fat boy, I could be whatever you wanted to be. I ain't getting nobody kicked off, I ain't getting nobody timed out. Pull up on Twitter spaces. That's not I'm on Twitter. I'm starting as soon as I get off of here. If you're too pussy to pull up and actually speak, oh, no. I'm not be gonna easy, take fellas. you no more in the chat. I'm out. That's easy, the time easy, to do it. All right, yeah. Yep. All right, y'all. We out.